All right, welcome to episode one of the Rune B Booby podcast. <laughs> Kidding, by the way. I'm just playing a game. This is not a podcast. <laughs> Kidding, by the way. Haha. <laughs> I know how many weirdos with Jawa. Uh, how's the audio? Check, check. Oh, look, Failmore is playing Returnal. <laughs> Audio's good, thank you. Can we get a shout out for my friend Failmore? Okay. I'm gonna keep the volume the way it is now because dialogue's probably gonna be quiet and then this shit gets really loud. Okay, so is that loud? <laughs> oh, they were spirited away. Actually, I think when I play the English translations, where cutscenes not translated. I can't remember. But anyway, so they got spirited away. <laughs> I told you it was gonna get loud. <laughs> All right, I lowered it a little bit more. Prelude, blossoming, Madoka, Tsukimori. I just think none of this was translated, so I was like, just seeing a bunch of Japanese text. Baby, I don't know, I can't really remember. Oh, look, it's over the shoulder. Look, it's already the main difference. Find Misaki Aso. <gasps> Aso, that connects. Well, I guess the spelling was different. Why they remake four, not one? This isn't a remake, it's just a, a re-release. It's like a re it's a remaster, but because this one never came out uh, outside of Japan. Thanks, real radic. Oh, it's so pretty. What's this? Yeah, this looks great so far. Here, I can. Oh my god, start. Start is. No, stop! No! <laughs> I'm trying to go to Borderless. Okay, that's better. Yeah, now it's taking my- Oh my god, I haven't played- a... I was playing Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3. But they've all been in small windows because I was using emulators. And now it's like actually full screen. <laughs> it's the biggest I've seen Fatal Frame in a while. But anyway, yeah, she looks great. She's so tall. Oh my god, it's like cuts to Mayu again. Look at her little run. She's got like a little secretary run. Hold LT to run. LSRS perform a quick turn. Hey, thanks for the humble bundle purchase. Game's in full frame, can you believe it? <laughs> the Wii version of two? I have not. Look, we get bigger frames. More fatal, more frame. Dude, her ass is swaying. Did you see that? I hope they start remastering the other ones, though. Alright, just put them in a trilogy. Is that Misaki's flashlight on the floor? Your flashlight illuminates dark areas and helps you investigate your surroundings. Don't snap, Misaki. She's. Misaki? Misaki?
I can't see your face. Look at her ass swaying. Like her whole body is so straight, but her ass is like swaying in the wind. <laughs> so weird. I know, yeah, put them in a collection, easy money. I mean, what do you expect them to do, Shank? They have to see if things sell before they put more work into stuff. Investigate the 2F nurse station. How about you just let me in? If only I had a key. I'd be like that five minutes of physics. Classic. Sinister masks are on display. I know, like, it does suck, Shake. Like, I agree with you, but at the same time, it's like they're probably gonna have to go with whatever's easiest because it costs them less money. The window looks out in the courtyard, but the left side is covered by a wall. Wall must be part of an extension added to the building after this section. I like how she's <laughs> making these assumptions, like, right now. Like, judging the architecture while her friend's missing. The sprint is still a walk. She's actually hustling. Building inspector frame for it. Hey, that reminds me of a game I'm sponsored to play tomorrow. <laughs> You'll see. Uh. Oh, that's a save. Not Minecraft. Oh, that was creepy. Wait, what are the saves in this one? What color are they? What, these little things? These are so not bright. I can't interact with it yet. Well, it says S, so I saw a bed saved, but... Wait. Space and stairs set apart with screens depicting a moon shrouded in clouds. I know, we don't have save states in this. Okay, we won't need it. I don't remember this game being hard. Welcome back, pimp. Well, they gave me a code to play this. So kind of. Yeah, Shank. Yeah, I remember really liking this one. You'll like it, I think. And then if you like this one, you'll like the older ones. Five's like the only one that I feel like is just really lackluster. The way she goes up the stairs, she's like a child. Look at her. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to sway your ass like that going upstairs. Just run normal. Oh, the no feet. Yeah, Arlen, imagine that, but now you're an adult doing it. Best cast, but it's the least with them. That's how I feel about the whole game. Like, I like Five, but it definitely does the least with everything. Look how the curtains even look. This whole hallway is really nice. Just like the, the dust, the curtains swaying. It being like really long and spooky. God, this just makes me want to play RE1 Remake. Like this. Come on, Koei. <laughs> I want to see their take on a Resident Evil game. She's in there. Yeah, 
<laughs> she said she said uh go back to your room control room summer's end the curtains part to reveal the moon's in interior but it's too dark to make anything out clearly how about we go in where the ghost was that's a great idea There's no one here. You can examine the various objects found in your environment. Objects that can be examined will glimmer when you shine your flashlight over them. That's like in Revelations too. If an object shines after you pass your light over, you can reach out with your hand to examine it. <laughs> oh, is that how I pick things up? Where I see a thing that I want to pick up and then I reach for it? That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, is this the one where I know the ghosts grab your hands in five? Do they do that in four too? Stand. So okay. So this is how you pick up items. Are you ready? You stand Hello. next to the object and then reach your hand out. <laughs> Mover. Thanks to the gifts up to Repulsor Rage. I am. And then to stop reaching for the item, you take your hand back. Something is written on the paper. We've successfully grabbed an item. Put the key to the museum on top of my desk. There are a lot of irreplaceable objects in the museum, so please take care to keep the door locked at all times. I can referencing the Bible. <laughs> in the Bible. That's how Revelations... <laughs> oh, because Revelations. It's Revelations too. Do they grab your hand in this one? I know they do in five, and it was annoying. Nurses' uniforms and other items are scattered inside a display cable case. Oh, I think we found it. Found the small ivy pattern key with museum engraved on it. Press X to open menu screen. Oh, it's Xbox controls. I just realized. I'm like, I've been pressing X. Yeah, a square is map. No, you could cheat in five to know when the hand would grab you. You could hear a disc spinning in the drive to load the ghost scare. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh god. That was so loud. Square, it's a button that's in between triangle and X. This music. Chosen, why does her butt sway like this, like it's a curtain? <laughs> Add to my Starry Soon playlist. So I'll put that next to the song that Angie sings in Village. It goes Japan. <laughs> the off chance that hot ghost is around? Oh, that's so fair. I would do the same. If Wesker's ghost was around, it'd be like, hey. And then he would, his ghost would try to kill me. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, oh my god, I just noticed the rug's like all bunched up. I'm surprised she's not tripping. Oh god, wait, this rug is way too long for the hallway. Like, it's probably- was it always bunched up? It's too long. It looks good though, yeah. Use the key. Look at these shots. Oh, it's so creepy! It was just the wind. Misaki? Misaki, are you here? Yeah, I'm playing on Steam, but it's also on PS4, PS5, Switch, right? And is it on Xbox? I don't I'll be honest, I don't know anything about Xbox these days. I don't know I don't even think games are on it anywhere. <laughs> A collection of old books. The name Kunihiko Aso can just about be made in places. So that's Misak. Okay, so she's related to this person. Same. Okay, it's not just me. It's on Xbox. There you have it, folks. Oh my god, I keep having to, like, forget, forget that I have to hold it. Name Kunihiko Aso is written on it. Those with spiritual potential can see shadows. Forms invisible to the average person, the souls of the dead, vestiges of thoughts left behind in a place. My camera obscura was created to capture these clues to the spirit world, and I now have a chance to improve its capabilities even further. In the course of my research here, I have discovered that the materials used in mass making on Rogetsu Isle can improve the camera obscura's ability to capture those shadowy forms on film. I've also come to believe that the camera obscura holds a power greater than I ever had than even I had ever expected. This is the power of the camera obscura to affect these shadows when photographing them. It is something like the exorcism that those with spiritual potential refer to. It is my experiments on this isle that have brought me to this bold conviction. Prof. Aso. Your paranoia with picking up items in these games? I know, well, because only five is the one that, like, grabs your hand, right? That's why I'm paranoid also. I didn't finish Fatal Frame 3 yet. I'll do it after I beat 4. I just really wanted to play 4 first. What time is the world premiere? Um, it's like two. I have to sneeze. One momento. Wait. False alarm. It was just a ghost. It is my experiments on this island that have brought me to this world conviction. Uh huh. I have decided to donate a camera obscura to the owner of the hotel. Well, that's kind. I did not explain why I was donating it, but I cannot help but feel that there will come a day when the isle will need the power of a camera obscura. Okay, that's really convenient. But also, that's kind of... Alright, that's that was weird. <laughs> Phantom sneeze. <laughs> this type of game in VR and the hand grabbed you. Yes, can we please make these games in VR? I know it's going to cost a lot of money and stuff, but I really hope that this game... Um, or this, this franchise actually makes enough money at some point to make a VR version. Because it'd be perfect. Majora's Mask, yes. That's the one. Maybe there'd be a mod. Whoever made the Resident Evil uh, VR mods should make a Fatal Frame mod. Anyway, one day we'll need the camera obscura. I only hope I am wrong that such a day will never come. Is that the camera obscura? <laughs> the typewriter? 
<laughs> Imagine holding a massive typewriter. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's like in display. It's like not even. Oh god. Look, it wants to be free. It's like, let me out! Let me out! Oh, it's so cool in this one! An old camera. This must be Prof. Asso's camera obscura. It's like very... This bitch has been following me all hotel. Woo! It's a typewriter of Norma. Oh my gosh. No chill. Uh, is the audio loud right now, by the way? Dude, I love how it looks in this game. It's very, well, like Castlevania. I think she's mad too. Smile scare. It's a special camera with the power to view and seal away the inconceivable. It's reasonable ghost audio. Wait, it's not loud, but it's slightly louder than you. I'll turn it down just a little bit then. Cause I don't want to feel like the yell over it. I just I turn it out like a smidge. Anyway, uh, when a wraith appears, you can seal it away by taking photos of the with the camera obscura. Press Y to take out the camera obscura while holding the camera. Press RT to take a photo. Now I match. Sick. Press and hold LT while aiming the camera to take ghost to lock onto the ghost and keep the camera aimed at automatically. <laughs> Look at the picture in the bottom. <laughs> That's a pog if I've ever seen one. Oh, it's so bright. It's gone. Was that a person? <laughs> Quick, take the typewriter and go. Leave the Aso mansion. It's kind of awkward. Locking on. Quick, <laughs> take it and run. <laughs> it's probably worth money. It's so pretty. It is. This is a really scary environment, too. God, hotels are creepy. I want to go to the Stanley Hotel. The real one. Oh, there's the arm! I don't think she got out of the Asso Hotel. Are we dead? Ah, uh, look at this not being in 360p like on the Wii. Dare Oh, I wanted a shot of her on the piano. It was pretty. Sunday,家のこと。そして父のことも。私たちが神隠しにあった以前のことは何も思い出せない。一緒に見つかった四人もあの時のことは覚えていない。
Hey Autumn! Thanks for the tier 3 and the 18 months! God, I like how pretty she's dressed for this dingy boat she's on. It's a title card. Uh, ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。ルカ。
Oh, it saves automatically when you get near one? Oh, that's nice. Damn, at least quality of life features. Slender woman. Yeah, because she, she runs like she's stomping. Oh, let's look at costumes. Hello! I know I have... Yeah, I have the deluxe edition with more costumes. Warrior Worth, thank you for 46 months. It's going great. Oh, the Marie Rose outfit from Dead or Alive. Can I look at the swimsuit? That's kind of cute. That's even... Doesn't even look like a swimsuit. That's just it's just cute. Damn girl, you swim in that? Oh, we have more. Oh my god. <laughs> Camera head. I called her nemesis, but I meant to call her camera head. Oh my god, flashlight head. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> this is a really cute girl and then this insane lens. Pyramid head <laughs> has two new friends now. The VR headset. This is this is considered glasses. Glasses yellow. <laughs> no, it's because we have this on still. Here, take that off. There we go. Glasses. <laughs> very, very yellow. I'll take it off. No. Oh. She looks weird in the Maria Rose outfit. We'll just wear the default, also known as plain- these are plain clothes. I wear plain clothes, this is a whole ass getup. Chinese dress does look- here, let's, let's at least look at it. I was like, it looks too cool. Yeah, it's just very pretty. I like the sleeves. Oh damn, now her ass is swaying. Damn, look, oh my god, her ass! Looks like she's got like cushions under there. Got three times wider. <laughs> I mean, she has room for cushions now. It is pretty though. I know, some people have much more higher standards for plain clothes. Apparently. See, this, this would be like my formal wear. Like it's just a big shirt. Yeah. Okay, we'll wear default. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm playing a game. It's the it's the deluxe edition, Shank. That's what I wore to my wedding with Nightwing. <laughs> it's just a nightgown. A nightgown for Nightwing. <laughs> Dress up edition. Can't wait for all the mods. Can't wait for Samus to just be here. Uh, folding gate blocks access to the landing. There's a note stuck between the bars. Note from Madoka. Madoka. <laughs> yeah, all the extras gave you more time. Well, welcome back. Uh, adult pain had laid heavy in my heart ever since I laid eyes on Rogetsu Isle looming ahead of us. Why does the mere sight of the island make it so difficult for me to breathe when I don't remember anything about the time I spent there? Misaki could be right. There might just be something here. <laughs> Makona. <laughs> Madoka. When she suddenly told me she was going to Rogetsu Island, I followed her out of concern. Misaki was so determined to come here, it was frightening. She still won't tell me what this is all about. The island is getting closer now. Misaki is looking at it coldly as though her gaze were the only thing pinning it to the horizon, the only thing keeping it from slipping away into the night with, I guess it's Marie. With Marie and Tomoe already gone, I couldn't bear to lose Misaki as well. Is 
So everybody... Okay, so everybody was, like, like, under the spell or whatever we gets to Island. Madoka was just, like, trying to get everyone out, I guess. Because she's, she's the only one that's was like, this is weird. Shit's weird, bro. We gotta get out of here. Code to say Mari. <laughs> Mary. Madoka, look, even her ass is swaying when we're not playing as her. Chase Madoka, Tsukimori. Madoka? I think it's Maria. That's that's how she was pronouncing in the intro. Ooh. We're back here. Awesome museum. Madoka might be in this room. Go inspect then. Where's the camera? There's a typewriter. Don't worry guys, we have the typewriter. Wait, does something shine? I heard. There it is. There's a doll under the desk. Just hope I got dust wipe from it. Someone must have picked it up. There was once a great disaster on this isle, island, which almost destroyed it and caused Rogetsu Island to become feared as a place close to the underworld. However, it has recovered from that disaster and no longer closed off to people from outside the Rogetsu Islands. As an outsider, I had anticipated resistance to my visitation. To my surprise, the chief welcomed me gladly to the island, seemingly in the hope that I would help introduce its native culture, uh, such as the Kagura Festival, and traditional Rogetsu engravings and craftsmanship to the outside world. I came to Rogetsu Isle to look for materials for my camera obscura because of the unique indigenous culture, the folklore of which is based upon the moon. That folklore, the sun represents the outer form of things, and the moon, the inner. The moon, therefore, represents memory, personality, and the soul. Believing that the soul is still connected to the underworld after the body dies, they say that the moon is a symbol of that world, as well as a gateway into it. This moon's the afterlife. They have a Kagura festival where the souls of the dead return to this world, and the most important element of the festival is the masks worn by the participants. The mask worn by the maiden during the Kagura is the point of contact between the living world and the world of the dead, the underworld, represented by the moon. A mask that connects to the underworld. There are many kinds of masks on this island, and I hope to greatly advance my paranormal research by investigating them all. Flash. Oh, it's trying to, it's trying to talk to us the only way it knows how. It's like, hey lady, pick me up. Oh my god, how annoying would this game be if the camera actually talked to you? Like, hey, hey, down here. Yeah, d no, down here. Pick me up. And then it would be like some sassy quips, like, for smoking. <laughs> An old. <laughs> and then the back seats, you. Yeah, if it was made by Nintendo, it would. Or like, even Sony. Give it a Kate Kona accent. Hey. Hey, Ruka. Ruka. I'm too short. I can't... I can't see nothing from down here. God, that'd be so annoying. Maybe... Maybe they'll uh, do that in, like, a remake or something. They'll have, like, a, an American remake down the line. And then it'll make it talk. Or, like, not even an American. Just, like, a kid-friendly one. Where, like, the everything's all animated. I'm taking camera, what of it? <laughs> I'm a talking camera. Anyway, it must be Professor Asa's camera obscura. Misaki and I are making our way towards Rogetsu Hall. The dizziness I felt on the way here has only got worse since we arrived on Rogetsu Isle. The air here is deathly still. It feels so hard to breathe. There's something about the smell of this place. I've had memories rekindled by certain smells and music before. Like when I heard the tune Ruka wrote, I remembered things, but not clearly. Sensations of textures, bursts of pain, vague things that can't be expressed in words, but this time is different. I feel a dark mass rising up inside my body. It's going to penetrate my head. <laughs> this is intense. We should have waited for Ruka. What is Ruka going to do? She's like, what am I going to do? <laughs> Dead. 
Thank God, Ruka. I can't take no picture from down here. Press the shutter button. No, not that. The other shutter button. <laughs> the filament showed at the top center of the screen indicates supernatural presence. Ooh. Turns red in the presence of wraiths and yellow ghosts or specters. When other forces are present, it turns blue. Item filament shown in the lower right glows blue when you're near an item or something that can be examined. Okay. God, that's so annoying you have to shine it first. Here, let's touch the wall. Prof also arrives. Must be from the time the museum was established. Mainland scientist Professor Kunihiko Aso has arrived on Rogetsu Isle. The professor, having a deep knowledge of folklore studies, wishes to study the legends and traditions of our isle. You will also be present to observe the Rogetsu Kagura to be held tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully this will lead to many more visitors coming to us from the mainland. Also, it has been announced that the room where the professor is staying at Rogetsu Hall will be made into a museum in his honor. Also, yeah, divers. <laughs> the freaking camera keeps saying, like, I think we could defeat this ghost if you take a picture of it. 50 times. Yeah, just like that. Try taking another picture. Oh, I think we got it this time. Maybe one more picture. There's something else down here. Three. Three spirit stones. Blue spirit stones can be used to upgrade your basic abilities or camera. Okay, so this is the stones. Reload. Reload harder. I hate having to hold it. Islander is found dead. At approximately 4.30 p.m. yesterday, the captain of the Oboro Maru docked at Rogetsu Island. Reported the deaths of multiple Rogetsu Islanders. All of the bodies were found with their hands covering their faces, leading the police to fear an outbreak of some kind of infectious disease. No survivors found! The police plan to continue the search for those Islanders whose whereabouts have yet to be determined while recovering the bodies. Despite everyone on the island being either missing or dead, there were no signs of any conflict or foul play. I don't know about that. Faced with nothing to go but the sudden disappearance of the Isle's population without any evidence of natural disasters, the police remained baffled by this bizarre incident. Bizarre incident. Dracula. So jump scary more than the actual ghosts. I know, it's so freaking loud. Why won't the door open? It's not even locked. The camera obscura seems to be reacting. Maybe if I take a photo of the door with it. Backseat yourself. Yeah, I know. Hold on. I need to get some distance. Oh my god, you have to be so close. Oops. I'm used to the control scheme of Fatal Frame 3. Something has appeared in the photo. It shows five masks hanging on the wall. Find the five masks in the photo. Ah! There's a man on the door! Yeah, I remember this is when I started doing the infinite ammo for the cheap stuff, like, officially. Because before it was like reload. This is straight up just forever infinite. She is so cute. <laughs> I was talking about you!
shaking hand. Yeah, the PC port's really good so far. It's gone. What was that? Look like a nurse, but this is the part of the camera's gear. <laughs> She's like, you know, don't, don't take a photo of me. Too late. Bitch, don't attack me. Wait, so it was just saying, like, move in L and R when I wasn't aiming? That was a weird description. Anyway, I gotta go find five masks on a wall. Well, is this where we came from? I just need to make sure. I need to gain my bearings. Yes, okay. <laughs> you can stop right there. <laughs> just killed Ada's ghost. You can stop right there. I know, I really want to play Wolong. I'll have to after RE4. Found a pamphlet! The Rogetsu Kagura is by far the most important traditional festival in Rogetsu Island. It's held only once every 10 years. No, whenever there's something happening that's like once every 10 years, you know it's bad. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Like if we're sleeping work tomorrow to play at midnight. Do it! Do the midnight. Let's see you fight the big Joe on the red horse. I know who that is! Based on the description, I know who that is. The highlight of the festival is the Kagura itself, taking place in the temple of the lunar eclipse, a maiden known as the Vessel, and five girls known as Organs perform a sacred dance. Why not use the Kagura as a chance to visit Rogetsu Island and experience its rich history? No, that sounds terrible! Five girls known as organs? I know, people don't remember everything that happened every 10 years ago. Ah, herbal medicine. Yeehaw. Dagnabbit, I'd like to save my game. I darn... I darn... nearly died there. Once, or like once every hundred years? Absolutely not. That's even worse. I'd be pissed though. Like, what if that's something that I really want to do? And knowing it's being held every hundred years? And then, you know, you just happen to not be alive during that segment and you like know you're going to miss out? It's just like, oh man, I'm 80 years old. The next time it's going to go is 20 years from now. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die. Where's Bach? I don't know. It's like comets and things. Yeah. Wait, how much y'all watch? Don't worry, we're still in the intro. So, hasn't gotten that spoiler yet, right? There's a thing to scan here. Ooh. Guys, did you know about different films? Yeah, 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 I'm not new. Oh wait, can you- while you aim? <gasps> Yay, it's still like in three! <laughs> We're gonna be rocking the bad film for a while. Okay, I think the masks and stuff are over here though. This part's getting crazy. Yeah, I think it's like down there. What's the... I don't like having to shine your flashlight to get things. Ghost hunting casual stagger. I know, how is this called a casual outfit? <laughs> this is like a Sunday church or something, I don't know. I think it was through here. Man, the camera being so close to the character, though, and like the tiny ass hallways, definitely feels way more claustrophobic. Where were these five masks? Oh shit. No! I'm still used to Fatal Frame 3 controls. Boy running away. 
Damn it, now when I play Fatal Frame 3, because I still have to finish 3, because we didn't finish it last night. I want to go back to 3, I'm going to struggle. You up until 5 with Wolong patch notes? Oh my god, I hope he gets a rest soon. Look, you know I want you guys to be here in my streams and stuff, but if you're interested in these games at all, like, based on what I've played, definitely, it's definitely a game that's, like, more fun to play, because it's, like, it's, it's actually, like, intense. It's just you and the ghost. You know? So I definitely suggest playing it. Okay, kid went in here. Let's go follow kid. All right, bye. I'm kicking you out, Nivus. <laughs> nah, but I mean, if you want to stay, feel free. But I'm just saying. Ooh, this room is creepy. Oh, there's a projector. We're about to watch some skin and rink. Oh, I'm so hyped. <laughs> Me and the ghost. Yeah, Ponto, you and the ghost. Nice ghost. Oh, I kicked everyone out playing Elden Ring. Is that an item? Jesus. Oh, it's a- it's a freaking Nero in- <laughs> in, uh, Surge of Cerberus. It's Nero! That's his name, right? What's he doing here? Hi, dog dad. I need to write something, doesn't matter what. Gotta keep writing, or I'll disappear. If I stop writing, I lose it all. Gotta keep writing. It's no good, I don't know, it's all over. It's getting closer. Guys, I think Madoka's starting to lose it. She's like one note away from being itchy tasty. Melt- I'm <laughs> melting! <laughs> I was talking about itchy tasting, but I think melting is a bit more intense. <laughs> melting, mom, help me, help. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Stop shaking me like I'm a toy. Oh, God. What? What was that sting? Did I miss a ghost? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at her melting, but... Oh, we got the blast lens already? Lens is gonna be equipped on the camera. There are, uh, th there's a game called Dread Out where you use your cell phone. It's not very good, but. Oh my god, itchy melty. That sounds like a, like a melt sandwich. <laughs> the itchy melty. <laughs> Resident Evil inspired melts at a restaurant. It could be called the itchy melty. Oh my god. <laughs> during a, during a battle, press X, use upgrade lens. If you have enough points. <laughs> Uh, you can choose up or down. Okay, sick. That's how you use it with X. I mean, I would eat an itchy melty if it's Resident Evil inspired. There's two misplaced key. That's a okay. That's assuming a lot from her. Just by a picture, like she looks so sad. I misplaced my key. Oh, I just don't have the spirit stones. Wait, but they allowed me... But I, I have it. I just have to equip it. Holy... Sorry, hiccups because I'm freaking too much coffee. Holy shit. Um, do you see how expensive it is to upgrade? So it's not points anymore. It's just finding blue sp stones. Excuse me? That's, in that's nuts. How much is one of those old-fashioned cameras these days? Good question. I have no idea. 
Okay, but like, why did I pick up the blast lens to not be able to use it? They're like, you can press up or down to use it. Oh, there's dolls that you can collect? I think I saw one under a desk. Projector, it looks like it takes real type films. I much prefer upgrading with points. Engraved key. I like that it shows the pictures where they are. Procedure for opening 2F's uh, entrance hall gate. Activate the switch on the panel in the storeroom under the stairs entrance hall stairs. Ensure the numbers total up to 13. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need my pen. 13. <laughs> the gate must not be open without permission from the nurse station. real type real well you know as opposed to fake type when did we get everything mirror stone Kidney stones, <laughs> the way I said it. <laughs> Hi, mole man. Okay, I think I think this is where the mask is. I found it accidentally. Why not take a picture? Cause it's not blue. Oh, I just interact with it. The wall is lined with masks like the ones that appeared in the photo. Wait, is one of the masks missing? Oh, he's got the mask. Oh, stupid kid. Damn it. Kidney stone once. I'm sorry. It's gone though, right? <laughs> it runs great, Paul oh, man. God, this hall. Man in courtyard. So what do the points matter in this game if if it's not how you upgrade stuff? Last survivor dies. There's one old newspaper clipping sticking out of the post box. Last Rogetsu survivor dies this morning at 10 a.m. The last remaining survivor of mass disappearance incident on Rogetsu Island died in hospital. The irreversible physical and mental trauma she sustained have been identified as the profitable cause of death. This is the, yeah, this is Japanese uh, only that was released on the Wii. There were English translation uh, mods to like play on Dolphin and stuff. Which is how I played this once in like 2018 or something. Um, but yeah, this is the first time it's officially released outside of Japan. You had a Kiniso too? Which pain you've ever felt? Yikes. You buy mods. <laughs> Yeah, because that's say, saying, Mall Man, the saying the shorthand of Japanese, like saying Jap is considered a slur. I know you didn't mean it that way because it's like, um, you know. Yeah, it's considered a slur. Just don't use it. But I, I knew what you meant. JPN is the correct way, yes. Yeah, that's why auto mod is just like, whoa there. <laughs> Poster for the Rogetsu Kagura. 
Seems to depict island scenery, but it's faded and hard to distinguish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the nurse station. Wait, so under these stairs. Oh, like. Oh god, he scared me. Oh my god, even spelling it out? You guys can't see because Automod's hiding it, but spelling out J-A-P with dashes. Dude, Automod is, is strict. Nice. What if you just have to spell something, though? <laughs> gate is shut tight. There were instructions on that plaque on how to open the gate. Yeah, so it was like under the stairs. Is that where I came from? Yeah, Automod is on it, right? <laughs> Runs a tight ship. Yeah, good. Another word that starts that way, though? Besides anything related to Japan? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't think of one right now. Where's the nurse station? They said it was under the stairs. Oh, there's a room there. Oh, it's that. It's that. Okay. I think we're thinking of like English words. Japtaza. Not like a Korean vegetable or something. Use the key. Is that a freaking casual mummy? Thought they'd be back soon. Honestly, yeah, probably just like I'll just put this here real quick so I can have my hands free, and then they just left him. Rogetsu investigation stalls. Two weeks into the investigation, there is still no sign of the missing Rogetsu Islanders. Investigators have expressed fears that the case will be closed on this mass disappearance incident due to a la complete lack of leads to follow. Many bodies were found with their hands covering their faces, expressions leading investigators to suspect a connection between the appearance of these bodies and their cause of death. While that cause is yet to be determined, the possibility of an outbreak of infectious disease has apparently been ruled out. <gasps> no zombies. Temporary mummy storage. <laughs> this is the most Lisa note bullshit. Well, I don't think that's dead. I don't think the mummy's dead. I don't think it's an actual mummy. Panel has several switches on it. Oh yeah, it's the number 13. Oh, puzzles. That should be 13, right? We freaking nailed it, oh my god. Light panel has been lit up. All right. That was easy. So we did it. Graphics good. I really like the musty effects. It just makes it look more haunted. I don't know. It's like shit. No one's really been here. <laughs> I'm the first person in history to get past that puzzle. Nurse with patient. Are you sure? They both look like nurses. Wait, is the phone upstairs? Sounds like it's... It's downstairs! I just got upstairs! Hold on, I'm... Don't hang up! Don't hang up!
She's like, yep, what back? Oh, because she has patience. Nice. Hi, Enzo. <laughs> Fish your most famous friend. Is I'm not! <laughs> but thanks. I'm good. How are you? How's my favorite Enzo doing? You know, drop call a random stranger saying give it back. Three times, even. God, I like how she didn't even respond. Like, she's just letting... Hello? She's just letting this person freak out. for tomorrow so excited let's go i'm nervous but i'm also excited five spirit stones oh i can upgrade blast now I like how they give you blast before you can even use it if you don't use it you lose it is that a serious question oh we're here again herbal medicine Wait, are these suits? Uniforms and other items displayed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he will, Billy. It'd be funny. Has Jeff Keeley followed me on Twitter today? Be on your best behavior, everyone. Nothing else? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you're looking right now. Tell us how you feel about... Uh, what's her name? Ruka's casual clothes. Casual, by the way. Totally not Sunday appropriate dress. I know, Lisa is so cool. Capitalize on my newfound fame. I'm not, guys. I'm not. Nothing's gonna change. You guys are so good at hyping me. Up. Holy shit! Welcome back. Woman greeting Ruka. I don't think she's actually greeting me. This woman definitely wants me dead. Several pieces of paper have been posted on the notice board. The letters are smudged, making the writing unclear and difficult to read. This game's definitely a lot louder with jump scares. piece of paper when the duck has handwriting on it. Don't look at the face? Oh wait, she's busy itchy melty right now. If you look at the face, you lose it all. Can't see my face. Can't see my face. Just like the other two. That was some slam poetry. Oh. Boy disappearing into the room. Itchy, tasty. Jackpot. Coda! Thank you for the hard bits. He was rating out of 10 for each character fashion sense. Oh, 10 out of 10 for- Okay, here. I love her look, so definitely 10 out of 10. However, her choice of wearing it yeah, in a ghost hunt is a little questionable. Room is full of all kinds of strange things taken from around the building. This looks like my room. <laughs> Shit everywhere. What other characters? We haven't really seen them yet. There's like one. Well, I don't know. Everyone's kind of dressed the same. There's a diary here covered in doodles. April 6th, rainy day. I found another thing to keep for myself today. It's a mask from dinner hall. They always take me away when I'm not looking. They know I don't like it. I have to get the pieces back again. I put the mask I found today under the bed. I'm gonna write that down even though it's probably still in the room. So no one can find it. No one will take it from me this time. If they do, I'll get them. Like a threat? Yeah, we just started like an hour ago. 
Under the bed. What's this? One. That's it? Just one? God, they're holding out on me. Oh, is that under the bed? <laughs> fatal frame. When a wraith attacks, you have a chance of capturing a fatal frame. If you time it correctly, you'll take a fatal frame which grants bonus effects. Fatal frame stuns the enemy and inflicts a huge amount of damage. While the enemy is stunned, you can string together multiple fatal frames into a combo. If you clip the alarm upgrade, the fatal frame icon at the top will start flashing letting you know when to step the picture. <laughs> Well, it didn't- I mean, I know I don't have alarm yet, but I was hoping it'd get red at all. Can't lock on! So it doesn't turn red, like, the outline? Oh god. Blasted kid. <laughs> I stole his diary. This isn't right. Someone took it. If I don't hurry, I'll start disappearing. Who did it? Give it back. Give it back. Give it oh, is he the kid on the phone? Disappearing. Give it back. Kid, it wasn't my fault. Audio tape. Pimiko Kiria. And a tape recorder. Can we just listen to that? Oh yeah, can I finally have this mask back? There's an old mask under the bed. Well, we killed who it belonged to. Looks like the mask's in the dining hall. It could be the missing one. Little man just Blair with you at the end there. I mean, he looked at the door or something. I don't know. It's always behind you. <laughs> Taking a selfie and then you get hurt, realizing you've been dead this whole time. Oh no. It has to be like the shutter that does it, right? All right, well, we have the mask. Oh, what is this camera angle? Okay. It's definitely the other direction, but we may as well explore here. Just, oh shit, accidentally fatal framed myself. Oh, there's alarm. So are the characters like dressing up? That's fair. I do like stylized like character designs like this. It's just a casual outfit is what it's called, but it's not casual. You can collect dolls by taking pictures of them. Yeah, uh, there's dolls that you can find in this game, and I definitely found one, but I didn't take a picture of it because I forgot. Definitely K-pop idol. It's going great cloud mark. Okay, now I have less. 
Yeah, I just didn't have it equipped, I guess. Yeah, that just enhances it. Okay. So it can't enhance anything. Um. So points. We're gonna hear yellow and brown. But it's cute. You don't like it? Okay, now we have alarm. See, I'm not a big yellow enjoyer either, but she looks really cute in it. Jesus! <laughs> I forgot how to bring out my camera. Ah, oh, what? So I have alarm now, so it should tell me. Oh, get away, you're freaking me out. Dogs, I know, right? I'm too used to the other games where it's like it like glows red like to do like a shutter chance. There it is, okay. It just seems so much like last minute, but it's probably more time than we think. The effect looks cool. Yeah, it's kind of like veiny or something. I don't know. Like spider webby. Okay, but where? It was like the dining hall or something. Boys room. Oh yeah, I should find the dolls. Uh... I'm running at 60 FPS. I know, when's it gonna turn red? Yeah, I have to get them, let, let them get really close. Okay, so the place to put the mask, it was downstairs to the left. It was wherever we found the key, so it's definitely before all this. Jesus. What do you do? Would you want to come in or something? Man pressing against window. That's like, oh, he's just, just ignore him. <laughs> That's just Larry. He always does that. Surprise you, barbarian. I have seen it. Okay, and now the mask goes here. We just put it in there. See on the door in the museum has been broken.
I know, I love that they show you in the map. Use the door like a normal ghost. <laughs> He's trying to get through the window again. Is he gonna keep- I, Honestly, I kind of wish he'd be like an inside joke ghost. I'm kind of hoping that's what, exactly what's gonna happen. Oh, that's not a joke. This is not an inside joke. Oh man, what? Jesus Christ. Dude, what the fuck? Ah! Uh, uh, wait, it was downstairs, not upstairs. <laughs> He's in the floor. That's what you freaking get, dude! My god! It's, a, it's like the spam jump scares. Jesus. <laughs> Triple fatal frame! I think it's a lot easier to get fatal frames than this in the last couple games. Did I hear just hear another one? Is he still just yelling? Get rocked. That's what you get for jump scaring Ruka, okay? She may look like a dainty little girl, but she's vicious. She's got camera obscura. Look, I feel like there's an extra, like, pep to her step now. Like, ghosts should be afraid of me. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Okay, hold on. So... So these... It, well, it is highlighting blue. God, it looks like rabbit teeth. Doll's curse has been lifted. Cool. Something's lying next to the doll. Hozuki dolls. These dolls in red kimono are called Hozuki dolls. They are a tradition of the Rogetsu Islands. Their origin is not known for certain, but they are said by some to have originated as dolls made by parents in memory of their deceased children. Aww. She has a taste for ghost leg now. <laughs> now she's going after doll curses. 2000 creepypasta. Like an outside joke with the man at the window. Nice. On some islands in the area, the dolls are said to be unlucky, but here on Rogetsu Island, they are placed in various different locations in order to ward off evil spirits. But they're cursed. <laughs> What's her name? Makoto? Not Makoto. It's open. Madoka? Madoka? Alright, we're camera ready. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, right? She's doing the horror movie thing.
That's not Madoka. No! You're not Madoka! She's cute though. God, get fucked. <laughs> I mean, Madoka, I'm so sorry. Oh no, now we look weird. <laughs> I know getting fatal frames in this one is satisfying. It's like way easier, but it's still really satisfying. Cause it's like it's kinda how I feel with the first fatal frame where it's like um when when like the kanji symbols are very visible on your screen and then you get a you get it's all like all red and stuff. It's very like visually rewarding that you're doing something really cool. I feel like that way about this game. Where it's like a little bit more subtle in two and three. Definitely two. Two is really subtle about it, but three three was not it's three was better but like this one and one are like really loud with your accomplishments yeah the clicking sound in this helps a lot too and it's also like just the window is a lot bigger because sometimes in two and three like the window is so freaking small and the fact that this game has a lock on so i think they did it yeah it's like they <laughs> machine gun with the camera yeah exactly i think yeah th this is a lot easier so far but it's fun the lock-on helps a lot, definitely. If it wasn't for the lock-on, I feel like it'd be similar to like 1 and 3 and stuff. Phase 1 down. Yeah, they bought- well that's the thing, like the lock-on makes the bob and weaving um, not a problem in this. Because yeah, the ghosts in 2 and 3 just- they flail all over the place. But 4 is like, hey we got a lock-on now. Try ducking now! The effect is so satisfying. It's so good. And just like watching them get blasted back like that. Yeah, see if I, I know. I missed so many times because like they'll do that and like it'll flash red for like a moment, a split second. I'm like, I can't, my reaction time is not that fast. <laughs> Wait, did we save? Well, now we did. But it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. Okay, her fashion- she reminds me a lot of- she's like a mix of, uh, Alyssa from Silent Hill and Evelyn from Resident Evil. <laughs> but I like her getup. Alyssa Vin. Phase two, residence. <gasps> For Misaki again? I mean, for the first time. Okay, her getup is... It's like... So frilly. It's not a ghost hunting uniform. <laughs> this is the camera I brought with me. What's it doing lying on the ground? I entrust the prototype camera obscure to the descendants of the Aso family as proof of the validity of my research. Is with the ca okay? Wait, wait. So let's let's write down some notes. Okay, because I I'm not gonna be able to keep track of all these people. Arlan, right, so Misaki Aso, she 
she brought the camera. Madoka came in second to find Misaki. And was just like, uh, now I'm melty. <laughs> And then, and then Ruka came in and said, Y'all are fucking insane. Y'all went missing. What the hell were you doing here? I'm gonna put WTF next to Ruka, because that's a reaction. Okay, so Misaki is the Aso person. She's the OG of this plot. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Fuck y'all doing here? This is ghosts. So she came here first. I've yet to pull this to the test, but it should be theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased on film. However, the camera obscure has a strong effect on priests, mediums, and others who are able to sense the inconceivable. Hence, I forbid its indiscriminate use. So, okay, wait, so, so, Madoka had to find Misaki while Misaki's finding Madoka. So it's kind of like Mafuyu and, and Miku in the first game when they were both, like, losing and seeing each other. Also, yeah, her outfit. Let's, 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 uh, okay, this girl's definitely, like, this is, like, her nighty. I like her hair. She kind of has Susie hair, except like the bangs are like a little bit more wispy. <laughs> frill out of town. It's like maximum frill, right? All right, let's go. We hear a noise coming from. Is that Morse code? Here, does so does she have unique costumes? Plain clothes. Oh, she's got the red one! Dancer swimsuit. Oh, that's so- f oh, damn, girl! Damn! Imagine this is called, like, oh, just a plain Chinese dress. Like, girl. I know, she's got different gloves too. Oh my god, look at the jiggle physics. Oh dear. <laughs> They're already small, what the hell? What? <laughs> Why? It's not my fault. Dancer one's cute. Dancer looks like a Dynasty Warriors costume. Or like, outfit for one of the girls. That's super cute. How fancy 14 Dancer. It's cute. Bunch of seashells everywhere. All right, we gotta wear our plain clothes. Oh, the points are for costumes. Okay, I was like, what's, what are the points for? But it's for costumes. I like when the points are for items or for uh, upgrades. Boop, 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 boop. It's coming from here or upstairs? I guess not down here. Yeah, the costumes look really good. I like that there's so many. There's so many unlockables, too. What? I'm trying! Evade. That's heart rate. <laughs> uh, 
That's Madoka's voice. It's a nurse call from 203. Maybe Madoka's in there. Looks like I have to enter a combination. Find the code for the panel. That was Oliver. He's actually right here. New building 2F status, end of July, room 203, Sacred Moon, Tsukimura, Madoka. Okay, wait, wait, so... Madoka, she didn't come here. She, okay, so she's been here. Okay. So, Madoka, an introverted child. We're learning! There's there's more to Madoka and Misaki than meets the eye. Maybe Madoka was always the cuckoo, cuckoo bird one in the beginning. Hi, Oliver! Do you want to see some ghosts? It's scary when you're little. <clears throat> Good boy. Good boy. Hi, Oliver's here. Whoa! An introverted child, Madoka seems to be... Seems to be... What? Madoka seems to be being bullied by other children her age. If you come across any children bothering her, please discipline them. Mm. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Hello. Where's my little Pomeranian Obscura? He is kind of a Pomeranian obscure because he doesn't act like normal Poms. You're not normal! Okay, so 204 has somebody named Aiba Iori. Wait, what was Madoka's problem? Introverted, being bullied... Okay. Due to recent death of Tomoka, Tomoko Hinuma, patients were a mo move. I can't read. Hello, I'm Oliver. <laughs> Moved to the old building, but Iori locked her door and wouldn't come out. She broke off the doorknob, so staff wishing to enter her room will need to apply force to the door. Okay, 205, Rainy Moon, Sonohara, Yoriko. Shows no reaction to mirrors, so she doesn't appear to have butted. But in conjunction with the worsening of her memory loss, Yoriko's mood and behavior are extremely unstable. She requires careful observation. Should I write these down? He can write, what do you mean? Oliver's a very good writer. Very good writer and a very good boy. Especially a good boy. The best boy. Alright, Wizen Moon. Amaki Kazuto. His kleptomania is getting worse. There's a boy in this franchise? <laughs> and he does not respond to warnings. Please report any thefts on Discovery. He gets angry when the items are taken to be returned to their owners. So please try to take them without him noticing. I feel like they should just discipline him better because they're like letting him get away with it a bit good boy good boy good boy is that who i killed maybe because he like stole the mask and stuff you gotta, just gotta steal him back oh all, not all over the games writers i thought you were dogging on oliver he's a good writer but yeah you're right i love you kiss your little nosy you are so handsome you're such a good boy. Dogging on him. Don't dog on the dog. A boy in my fatal frame. <laughs> good boy. Alright, who's next? Ayako. Intensely aggressive personality. Has a propensity to take pleasure in hurting others, displaying no signs of guilt. Causes problems with her cruel pranks. I myself had had my ear cut by Ayako. What? Extreme caution required. Okay, so we got a violent one. I'm out. This fatal frame is a regular sausage fest. Yeah, I know. Screw that. I thought, I thought I was playing fatal frame. Are you a boy? Patient in front of door. I'm sorry, ghost. I tried to let you in. She's a good dog. You never dog him. I know. He Oliver's eleven. He's an eleven-year-old baby. You're still a baby. Is it 
grumpy baby. Boop. All right, let's see where we're going. Little baby boy. Go to that room. Wait, so if, so if that's locked, but that leads to a hallway. I didn't mean to click it again. It's locked. Okay, so the only way is this way. She spawned there. So I'm thinking we don't need to do anything here. Oh my god, 12 kisses on his beautiful forehead. Seriously, these hallways are so tiny. Why would... I don't... I feel like this place would not allow for such tiny hallways. Like, have you guys ever been to a hotel where the hallways are like a one one lane <laughs> for its uh, customers? Like, imagine having like to cross paths with somebody and it's like you have to both push each other up against... or push yourselves up against the wall just to make room for the other guy. Oliver! Oh, the children! We're children, we're children! No, I got the stupid head! We're children, we're children! Be a horrifying hotel. I know, right? Ugh, getting close to people. This is a hospital. Imagine trying to move a person on a wheelchair in there. Oh, yeah! It'd be like wall to wall, like the wheels. Yeah, because this is like a hotel, but it was also a hospital. I don't know. What's shining? Hi, Van Buren. It's going great. I got a child's drawing. Picture of a clock? I think I've seen this somewhere. Oh, I wasn't looking at the clock properly. Thank you, Oliver. I know. Okay, where do I find that again? <laughs> Picture drawn by Madoka as a child. It shows what looks like an old clock. So I can't look at it. Alright, well, there's a couple clocks here. There's one, like, right outside. Oh, there's another item. There's a doll in here. Apparently there's a doll in here. I played this one on the Wii several years ago with a fan translation. I should for watching you right now. Bot keeps getting angry about the film grain. Wait, what's he why is he mad about the film grain? <laughs> I think it's- does he not like the effect? Oops. Oh, there's another thing here. There's a photo mode you could turn it off and the game looks better. I don't know, I think it adds to the atmosphere personally. I get it, like it should always be an option, but I kind of feel like, to a certain extent, it's a style choice. Like, I I mean, I, I totally understand his sentiment. I just... I don't particularly agree in this instance. There are some scratch marks near its feet where something has been erased. Oh, and a bunch of mist came out of nowhere. It is a Kung Pao reference. <laughs> we're children, we're children. Could fit him four peeps side by side. Fifteen side by side? Okay, so not one. I feel the strong presence. Something might show up if I take a photo. It's like it's telling me for the first time what the camera obscura is. 
Oh, we have the answers. 8395. Okay, and that was in the nurse's out, uh, office. Four years and still have yet to rewatch it. Same. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I've seen it so many times. I feel like I can quote this movie very, like, pretty often. To all infirmary staff, a new patient will be admitted to the second floor. Her name is Ayako, and she will be in room 207, the Orchid Moon. Ayako will be admitted on the direct introduction of director Haibara, so we must do everything we can to ensure that her stay is as pleasant as possible. All staff are urgent. Urge to take the utmost care when dealing with her. Yeah, because she's barely gonna freaking cut people's ears off or something. Hi, Mark. Def no single lane. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. No single lane, no buy. <laughs> I'm sorry, does this hospital have room for four people next to each other? I'm not interested. Jesus! <laughs> Nurse seeking help. Oh, you're seeking help? What can I help you with? Wait, is there another doll here? I guess it's just this then. Oh, there's a thing here. Nurse's logbook. Children have been playing tricks again, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. I change the door code regularly, but they could, but they seem to find out the new code every time I do. Apparently the code game is their new favorite way to play. They write the code for the door somewhere and give each other clues about where to find it. I scold them quite severely about this, and some tears were shed, but the director has told us to be vigilant about the door. Yeah, I already found the answer, but thank you. Okay. Oh, it's eight. Okay, eight, three, nine. There's a delay. Five. Beep. There's an asylum in Detroit. I'll have to tell Detoon about it. I want to go on another adventure with him. I want to see a ghost so bad. Hi, Oliver. I don't care about ghosts. I just want to see your smiling face all the time. Hi, Oliver. Hello. All the worst lifers were in the attic. Mwah. But yeah, it was really cool. Definitely. Uh, can somebody link his YouTube channel? Because he has like highlight clips of those trips. And mine was there. Wonder who thought that was a good idea. They probably felt like they didn't have a choice. Because they're like, how the hell are we going to fit so many people in this tiny-ass building? Thanks, Sparks. Yeah, go check him out. We didn't even have time to inspect everything, yeah. I want to go to the Winchester house, too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Trust me, I want to go to all the haunted places. I just, like, can't. Oh, too fast. Easy peasy. So you never got to see one? Maybe one day. A place to investigate. It's gonna be urban legends, no bases. Oh my god, I was ranting about urban legends the other day. Or like yesterday. Yeah, no, like legit. You can straight up rent uh, like an overnight stay at a lot of famous haunted locations. So you could just... Like, I think the Sally house is like $250 or something to, for an overnight stay or something really, really cheap. 
Ohio State Reformatory is expensive, so you'd have to get like a big group. But like Sally House, for example, is super cheap. Um, and then like the the house that the Conjuring House is based off is I, I think pretty cheap. Um, or like the real life Conjuring House, whatever. But uh, yeah, so just like rent it out overnight and just film a bunch of stuff. There's there's door that goes nowhere and door that leads to cliffs. The fuck. <laughs> Hi, last chain. Hi, Alter. Ghosts are growing great. Growing great. Oh, I don't like the Warrens either. Yeah, I got you. Fuck those scam artists. <laughs> we got the house. The Winchester house. They grow up so fast. I know, I wish... I wish I could, like, do my own ghost hunts, too. Because Detune inspired me. But everything's so expensive, so I'll have to... Maybe after I get my house, we, I can, like, get a fund going. Y'all want to see some ghost hunting? <laughs> Help. <laughs> it's expensive. Or to haunt my own house, yeah. Female patient suicide note. The fact that you are reading this means I am no longer in this world. I am the last living member of my family. My mother died giving birth to me and fate saw to it that both my father and brother met with fatal accidents. The memory of my family and the guilt of being the only one left alive was what kept me going. Now this sickness is taking even those small comforts away from me. My memory is the only place where my family still lives. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop this thing from getting inside me and killing them all over again. Oh, no. Mr. Killers! Oh my god, thank you. Speaking of killing, <laughs> thanks for 62 months. Pimp, you should- yes, join me. Yeah, do all the ghost hunts. I'll go on a solo hunt if I have to. Oh, you don't want to kiss you. of killers. Oliver, you're insane. I can't stand it any longer. I remain alive as the people inside me are killed, and the most frightening thing of all is the thought that before long I won't even be aware of what's happening to me. I lost everything, yet I feel nothing. My family faces death after death, yet I feel nothing. I think I'm talking to him. That is why I am choosing to leave this world while I have what little memory remains inside me, while I am still me. That's pretty intense, as I'm baby talking Oliver. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's a noose. Is that another doll? Woman hanging herself. Something has appeared in the photo. There you are. I know I saw one here. Unless this doesn't count as one. Because normally it's blue. Oh my god, that spider web. It's like a Halloween decoration. <laughs> yeah, normally it's blue, so maybe that's not a doll. A cursed doll. Just a regular doll. Bye, last chain. It's like the most perfect spider web.
blind one. He's blind close to the worst. Ah! Did it. <laughs> yeah. Does it appear in the photo? Room with books? Oh god. That's like this whole place. I love It's a little dog. Hi, handsome. Place with a lot of books, huh? Find the room filled with books from the photo. That's. Is it the room that they came out of? Door shut tight. That's what we have to unlock. You've been sleeping well, it's just the wind. I mean, there's the room downstairs where... Oh, because we're walking to where Madoka finds us, I think. Because that's... She finds her in the library. I mean, I'm sorry, the book room. <laughs> Hello, Oliver! I see you staring. She just told me to die. Yeah, it's the same, like, hospital slash hotel. Slash whatever this is for. Mean little ghost telling me to die. That bitch, Mariander. I've been having such an urge to play Resident Evil Village again. Oh look, it's a doll. You can be called back to the motherland. <laughs> where they don't even speak Romanian. I haven't played VR yet. Ooh, VR. I really want to play VR. Okay, well that's where she like... Oh, it's the mirror! Ah!
I know. Using the wall clip tag to avoid the combo. What a coward. Ooh, stun lens. <laughs> As if we need it. We're already stun, stun lensing them. Sacred moon keys. Key to Madoka's room. We were actually leaving it? Okay, second floor. Where we heard the crying. Yeah, so this is where Madoka finds her. But she's not actually there. It's just, it's a fake. No, you'll blossom too! Woman standing by masks. Should we go check it out? Black mask fragment left. It's a rotten mask piece. It's a document about masks. Put it on your face. That's her run. <laughs> her walk is the slowest thing you'll ever see. Kagura Festival is held on this island on the day of the lunar eclipse. On that day, they say that all living souls tend toward the underworld and that the souls of the dead return from there. Since the moon symbolizes the soul here, the eclipse must be thought of as the consumption of the soul. I have read that Rogetsu Kagura used to be performed using a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Title drop. The document I read was very old and fragmented, but I ascertained from it that this black mask was said to have brought to the island a disaster known as Day of Tranquility. Day of Tranquility is a disaster? Streamer with dog. <laughs> That's me. That would be my photo. <laughs> Streamer with dog. I asked the head of the island about this, but he told me with fearful look on his face that no such thing ever existed. It seems that Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is something of a taboo subject here. From what I have discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still, I wish I could have had the chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. It could have been a great help in my investigations into the spirit world. I too think of tranquility when I think of disasters. It's a very good name. Must have had a great PR team. <laughs> Damn, disaster running its own PR team. I don't even have that. Disaster has way more rights than it should. Alright, it's so the second floor to the left. What? I guess I said it right. What, Oliver? Are you handsome? Yeah, this is her walk. Oh man. Wait, is that the kid who stole stuff? Collapsed girl? Oh, that's the girl. So the boy is the one who steals things. The boy is the klepto. Oh, it's her! That's Ayako then. Because Ayako keeps hurting everyone. Look at all the storytelling. It's the nonverbal storytelling. I saw that happen before here a long time ago. You think Madoka was actually Ayako? No, Madoka has- What is she is Ayako? I don't remember the story in this at all, by the way. But I remember- Or I don't remember. We just learned that Madoka... Um... She was one of the kids, but they never mentioned Misaki? What if she was Ayako? Or was Ruka? Look at that bitch! <laughs> it's going great, Casey. Happy Air National Women's Day. Okay, it's to the left, to the right. I'm gonna tell you a thing, but I don't want to backseat. What is what is the thing involved? Feel free to use the grudge with the camera. No, it's not. <laughs> You're just like tuning me out at this point, Shang. Thing involves looking at files three about spirits you take pics of. Oh, that's not a backseat. Uh, is it like? Oh my god, how do I get to my menu? It's fucking square. 
Yeah, because it's like when you take pictures and stuff, you get to read. Where was that? So pieces of paper have been posted on the notice board. Is there, wait, there's a ghost list? <laughs> Your photos. The letters are smudge making. Okay, hold on, wait. May 20, World B Day. Wow, B Day. That's gonna be my day. So that's like, that's just that. Ghost list. Oh, she has been burned by her experiences with Ayako. Oh, my God. All right, patient suffering the pain and feeling herself slip away, forgets her own name and wants it back. That's what she was saying. Give it back. Tadayuki Kaido, a well-known mainlander who came down with Moonlight Syndrome as soon as he got to Rogetsu Island. Director Haibara was treating him personally. Iori Aiba, Takashi Aiba's younger sister. She came to watch the Kagura and was sub subsequently stricken with Moonlight Syndrome and hospitalized at Rogetsu Hall. Ooh. I can't- I'm just, like shocked they all have names. Patient deathly afraid of losing herself. She wants someone else to stay with her constantly. Then why is she trying to kill me? We can be friends. Boy who was hospitalized in a new building. He brings all kinds of things to his room and calls them my things in an effort to retain his sense of self. Well, that's just sad. Wait, this was the klepto kid, right? That's, yeah, that's kind of sad. That's like Virgil logic, like actually. Madoka! Girl who came to Rogetsu Island with Misaki Aso. She died and became a wraith after being attacked by the ghost of Rogetsu Hall patients. That's a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> but I mean, we already saw it. I just, you know, we don't, we weren't sure what happened, but I guess that confirms what happened. Hello! Hi, Pigeon! I miss you! Thanks for 20 months! Come back to Spoopy Pokemon Snap. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great! I hope you've been doing well. Yeah, you made it just in time. The new one came out. I know Misaki reading this like, what? She's dead? Madoka's dead? Like why then we why are we looking for her then? She hasn't got the memo. Oh god. Wait, this is Madoka's room. Totally normal, sane room. Madoka's diary! <laughs> August 9th. At nighttime, I know it's time for bed, but I get scared and I can't sleep. I get scared because when it gets dark, I see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, my face is all wrong. My eyes are wobbly. My nose is bendy. My mouth is twisty. Oh, because she's like, I'm melting. Inside my head gets all twisty too. I want to forget about Ayako and all the other bad things, but instead the good parts go away. So I hope tonight I can sleep well. <laughs> We're just not seeing it from the right perspective. I hear somebody like in the next room. These are big rooms for kids. Letter to Madoka. My darling Madoka, how are you? Did you choose a name for your new pet canary? He's gonna be a lovely little friend for you. I'm sorry I can't visit you more often, even when I'm not there, Madoka. You know I'm always thinking of you. I'll bring you some crayons next time I visit, okay? I know how much you enjoy drawing. Oh my god, drawing horror photos. The doctor said you're that doing the things you like to do is good for you. It helps you fight your sickness and get better. So make sure you draw lots of pictures. I know it's scary when you can't remember things you want to remember, but don't forget, Madoka, you're a Tsukimori. 
You know that Suki in our name means moon, don't you? That means the moon protects us and keeps us safe. Aww. So don't worry, Madoka. Do what Dr. Hybara says. Behave yourself and be a good girl. I'll see you again soon, mommy. Oh, that's so sweet. Did she kill her mommy? Measure. So I'm gonna tell you what measure is. Oh. Oh, Madoka, you're alive. Oh, Madoka's sitting on bed. What is that? Oh, there's another th there it is. There's another thing here. Oh, 61 film. That case of wobble eyes. I <laughs> love that shot on the bed. But he likes to see Pokemon as exclusively. Look at this art. Is this oh the lighthouse? It's just the same art just sideways. I know the freaking jiggle physics. <laughs> it's so bad. Hey, fellow human. Haha. -ha. What are you reaching for? No, she's a ghost. Oh my god, the way she like freeze frames, right? like, well, this is awkward. Nurse logbook. July 19, one item to report today. As before, the issue is with Ayako in room 207. At around 3 p.m., I heard Madoka crying, so I rushed to her room to check on her. When I got there, I found that her pet canary's head has been snipped off with a pair of scissors. No, that's a poor bird. Ayako was standing there with a pair of bloodstained scissors in her hand, so there's no question that she was responsible for killing the bird. I told her off as usual, but she just laughed at me. She is Evelyn. She would totally do that. Alyssa would never, right, Oliver? Told her off as usual, she just laughed. I got no sense that she had any appreciation that what she did was wrong. It's one thing to say she can't tell right from wrong, but Ayako's behavior is just too much. I worry about her negative influence on Madoka and other children, but in accordance with the director's wishes, we are unable to take any effective measure against Ayako's transgressions. Dude, I would let this, oh my God, I would, can you kick a girl out of the situation like this? She's murdering animals, bullying everyone. All the nurses are afraid of her. Like, clearly this is not the right place for her. She needs to go somewhere else. Maybe there's something we don't know about the relationship between director and Ayako, though. Like, maybe it's like his daughter uses like, oh, our pets' heads are falling off. However, we gotta boot this psycho. This isn't the right place for her, all of this. He's so sweet. Sweet little Oliver. He's an insane in an asylum. I don't think you kick her out. But like, clearly what they're- Like, clearly she needs like a, a higher tier insane asylum. Like, this place looks like it's for children. Or seems like it's mostly for children. Or something. Or like... Like, she clearly needs better care if the nurses are afraid of taking care of her. Not better care, like more stricter. You know, just put her in a cell. <laughs> Turn the basement to, uh, uh, fuck, what is the room? Those rooms? The padding? What are they called? Yeah, maximum juvenile security. No, just throw her into, like, an actual prison, like, for manly men. <laughs> is it just a padded room? Yeah, solitary confinement. I was just referencing that earlier and I couldn't think of the term again. My brain's rotting. But anyway, yeah, just throw her in the solitary confinement throw there and then let her deal with it or send her send her to the uh a prison with all the like these burly men i don't know security level manly men <laughs> chuck her in the hole <laughs> there's like there's prison for like all these violent manly men and then ayako and then everyone's like even the men are afraid of her because they cut she she cut their ears off or something Bitch is crazy. I'll just cry. Let's 
going on here. Anyway, my point is, Ayako's insane. And clearly this is not the right place for her. Oh, where's the blue? Jesus. <laughs> Look, it's Ayako! Girl peeping at Misaki. I'm gonna bust you up, kid. Enjoy solitary confinement! That's where they're gonna put you! Put you there myself. I'll see. There's nothing we can do about it now because she's a ghost, but. <laughs> she punches a hole in the prison. <laughs> Not her again. See, they're all afraid of Ayako. What? Come on! Girl pulling nurse. This kid is just a little bit more than a bully, you guys. Yeah, we have the one the one tool to stop her. The only way to stop her is by killing her and then exercising her with a camera. <laughs> is the floor moving or is it just me? Everything's moving. Oh god. Uh, I would like to get out of here now. Gaslighting the wrong child. Oh, it's definitely Ayako. Unless the notes are a red hair. You bitch! Oh, she doesn't have healing items. Uh oh. Stupid little girl! Your reign of terror is over! Who are you? Jesus. It's Alyssa, uh, Evelyn lady. Okay, just hard cut. Don't worry, hard cut. Together forever and ever to last. What's that about? I, I legit don't remember a thing about the Kittens Cave story. This is exciting! This feels, it like, actually feels like a new game to me. I just know it's something I like. Because <laughs> like, you're with Fatal Frame 2 and like and 1. I still remember the story a bit. It was like, yeah, something about a sacrifice. His brother is missing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was fine. But this is legit. I have no idea. It also doesn't help that, like, the, the English fan translation, I don't think everything was translated, so I couldn't really get into, um, like, I couldn't, like, dive deep into, like, the lore files and stuff. I don't think, at least, I can't really remember. But either way, now is 
finally the opportunity to understand everything. Yeah, I don't remember if they did cutscenes either. It's like Fatal Frame 3 lighting now. Hi, Oliver! You're so handsome! Oh yeah, we have to play as this guy. Oh, gross! <laughs> Haven't they learned from K in Fatal Frame 3? No one wants to play as no stinky boy. He's handsome as always. Good. Play Fatal Frame for the women, not for the, this. Not for the man cooties. Whoa! Two men! Two men at the same time in a Fatal Frame game? His tits better jiggle. I can't wait to see his costumes. Follow the man who looks like Yo Haibara. This is my notepad. What's it doing here? Oh, his name's Choshiro. Clipping from a newspaper article. Missing girls found alive. The five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found alive at around 11 p.m. last night. Two men. <laughs> he does kind of look like Akiyama. I did see that. I'm like, oh, you're not so. He's not as weird as K. K Kona was a treat. This guy kind of does look like Akiyama. At least make them wrestle in boxers. You know what? Better yet, I hope they wrestle in a bathhouse, totally naked. Right, Oliver? It's like, no, that's weird. Don't throw me under the bus. <laughs> the names of the girls are as follows. All are seven years old. Aso Misaki, Tomoe, Marie, Modoka, and Ruka. <laughs> While the third guy watches. <laughs> From the bath. The girls vanished during the accident stricken Rogetsu Kagura, leading some to say they were spirited away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They mentioned that in the intro. I was just like, what does spirit away mean? You know, whenever there's like. There's like stories where they just talk a, a bunch, like a whole bunch of jargon in the beginning and like the intro, and I'm just like, what are you guys talking about? I'm new here. What do you. I don't know half of these terms. What are you saying? And then it's like, and then you finally learn what it is, and then you're like, oh, now I have to remember the context of what they said. And my memory's not good enough for that. <laughs> I just remember she said spirited away. But I guess that's all we really need to know. They believe they were spirited away. <gasps> right, Oliver? Yeah, it's just like, what's Rogetsu? Who's spirited away? Who are you people? Sexy Alma. Oh, click on that. They were found in a cavern beneath Haibara Infirmary by senior officer Choshiro. Oh, we're an officer. Choshiro Kirishima of Amanora Police Department Criminal Affairs Division who confirmed their identities. Okay, so, so they were found dead. They were seven years old, but we see our, ourselves as ghosts, as adults, because they're definitely not seven when you play as them, because you play as three of these already. So, okay, so they died when they were seven, and this is the guy who confirmed them. Okay. Police are focusing their investigative inquiries on the staff of Haibara Infirmary. Oh, and then and then Haibara, the guy we're chasing, is, is a Haibara. Are they dead? Ruka's in the hospital? Well, they're found alive. Sorry, not dead. I don't know why I said dead. <laughs> they're alive! And they were seven, but... I don't think we're actually seeing them the way that they were seeing them. I'm thinking some of them might be dead now. Because who knows when this is taking place. Live, dead, whatever. Yeah, so Ruka's p possibly in a coma. And, like, Misaki and Madoka, maybe they're just, like, in a purgatory where they're constantly looking for each other. And they can never find each other. 
Serious disappearance or death of a person after they have angered the gods. Oh my god, they got speared away because they angered the gods. Elevate your little teethies are so small. What do you think you're doing? Maybe even dead is alive. Purgatory? Possibly. I don't know. I'm sure it's like some like attached to the whole spirit away moon ritual thing kind of deal. When I say purgatory, I'm just using the term I know best for whatever they're dealing with. Um, but yeah, so Ruka definitely looked like an adult, so I wonder how much time it actually passed. Because right here it says they were missing two weeks ago, but I don't know how much time has passed since then. Anyway, so we're the guy. We're the tape recorder. There's a tape about the incident. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, hello, Choshiro. Kinda handsome. So we can listen to the tape, or...? Ruka and the others, like she's the leader. So did they see it go what the dog did? But I'm not talking of going in which I'm telling us. Oh, two are dead. So Mario and Tomoe are already dead. He found them alive, but then they died in the process. Which makes me think Madoka and Misaki might be next because just from what we've seen in their like little flashbacky type things. <laughs> Stinky boy, oh hi, Chichiro. No, I'm doing the th I'm, I'm, oh fuck, what's the term? When you're like, you're like a kid in kindergarten, you're making fun of the person you like, but there's, there's an adult term for it. Negging, thank you. I, where I'm negging. You're stinky. Hi, Chichiro. It's three, 3,000 viewers on Twitch? Yay, good for them. Glad it's doing well. 100,000 missing persons annually? Damn. Kirishima-san, Blossoms? Saika-san. Saika. Who's Saika? Spirit Stone Flashlight. Oh my god, he gets a flashlight. <laughs> Spirit Stone Flashlight uses the Spirit Stone to store moonlight and emits the light and blast. This is a Sailor Moon weapon. Flashlight Obscura! <laughs> you can use it to attack ghosts. Press Y to ready the spirit stone flashlight. Wait, didn't uh, Ayane have a flashlight? When ready, press RT and then release it to emit a blast of moonlight. The longer you hold RT, the larger the blast radius will be. Oh, that didn't count. Hold my flashlight at them. 
Oh my god, did he just die? <laughs> oh, he's attacking. I don't, I can't like charge it up again, can I? Oh, there's charging back up. It's like a shotgun blast. <laughs> Woo! Is he vacuuming them up? Psycho said they might have already blossomed. What the hell ha happened to people on this island? Does it have anything to do with the Hybara being here? Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. Camera lens? For what? We have a flashlight! Equipping camera lens onto Choshira will enable him to take photos. You should remove it before fighting raids. But we have a flashlight! My flashlight can take photos. Wandering patience. Mm, okay, Oliver. He wants to get on. He wants to go on the floor. Little floor, little floor for the little Oliver. Good boy. It's like he rubbed his face for too long, and he's just like, "What the fuck." Please take extra care concerning nighttime wanderings of Moonlight Syndrome patients. When in charge of Night Watch, check the phase of the moon. On nights when the moon is full, ensure all locks and security procedures are in place. On nights when the moon is obscured, increase patrol frequency. This is so creepy. Like, ensure all locks are... Game doesn't like this guy. But he's Akiyama. Damn it, now I can't unsee Akiyama. Oh, let's we gotta see his costumes. <laughs> That's it? Oh, he came with a detective's hat? Of course, look. Guy has two costumes. Bye, Razor. Have a good night. Looks like a clown. Thanks, real time! I can't wait. No moonlight means it's easier for an escapee to move undetected. It's scary. So how do I take photos? I like how he spins his flashlight. <laughs> his hat dirt. Yeah, I'm in the Capcom pre-show tomorrow. <laughs> it's- we're just chatting, just- I'm not doing anything wild. あの時この<笑><笑> 
Oh, you should see the women running. Not a mercenary. Aw, oh, thanks, real time. That's so kind. Yeah, I was on the Capcom stream once for the Village DLC. And now I get to be there in person, which is pretty cool. Okay, we're taking baby steps. Next time, I will be an official presenter. I will be... This is this is not confirmed or anything. This is le legit just me saying what I want to do. But we start with Village DLC, and then we're doing pre-show stuff for... Um... For a Capcom Spotlight, and then next we're gonna be official presenters. Let's go. <laughs> One day. I mean, that'd be so cool, but no, I. I don't know. Probably really doesn't use Asta, you know, for you guys. No, stop! You're just so nice. I can't be awesome without all of you guys. It's a lot. I'd be nothing without you. 2030, my new president. <laughs> I would love to work, like, for Capcom officially. That is... Oh, bye, Oliver. He just left me. Game over. Watched by the Cap Cops. Nah. <laughs> I am the Cap Cop. Where am I going? Do I take the elevator? I'm not taking this rickety thing. Are you insane? An old-fashioned lift. Um, yeah, no, I, like, <laughs> when I was a little kid, we had to write letters to a company we wanted to work for, and I wrote to Capcom when I was a little kid, and now I'm straight up just gonna be on their stream multiple, like, twice in a span of a year. Greetings from COVID jail. I hope you feel better, Midnight. I am a Capcom creator. Gotta ask if they ever received the letter. He's like, yeah, we received it. We threw it out. And then I'll cry. We lock you in Mercs. I'm not in Mercs. I beat you up on a Capcom stream. That's right, I did. So I'm about to beat up this kid with my flashlight. Show to their job application. I wish I still had it. There's no way they would still have the letter. Or like my mom would even have kept it. Um, cause you know how parents sometimes, you know, like to keep drawings and stuff that you did when you were, like, 10 years old? My mom didn't keep any of that stuff. Otherwise, oh my god. I would love to read the letter if I still had it. It'd be so cringe because it'd be from, like, a freaking 10-year-old. But, yeah. 10-year-old's <laughs> cringe would be the best. Anyway, there's a child crying on the other side of the door. Listen, all things kids do is cringe. Look, I'm not bothered by cringe. I freaking... I support the cringe. People say things are cringe all the time, and I'm over here like... Every single person on the planet is cringe, okay? I don't want to hear it. There's not a single person who hasn't never done anything cringe. Like... Daily. I was born in the daily cringe, molded by it. Hi Tifa, recovered from surgery. I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. You're super cringe. Yeah, bro, same. Mother kept letters I sent her while I was in the Navy. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I wish, wish my mom was sentimental like that, but she's definitely not. Was this locked or you just can't open it? Aren't you supposed to be a big, strong man? Yeah, bear, exactly. That's cringe. But it's like, cringe has evolved into like, oh, is a person having fun? How- that's cringe, bro. <laughs> like, is a person having fun enjoying themselves, not hurting anybody, not doing anything illegal? 
but you know they're just being slightly weird cringe Yeah, the secondhand embarrassment's definitely not cringe. Like, I know it's like people cringe, but like, it's just, it's just so overused. I don't know. I don't really care. This is a dumb topic. <laughs> yeah, where do fireworks on Tuesday fall? That's so cringe. Setting off fireworks Tuesday at like freaking 11 p.m. for no reason. On a random Tuesday in March. Anyway, moral of the story. You're all cringe. I'm cringe. We're all cringe, so just embrace it, who cares? <laughs> it is a fun word to say, though. It, like, sounds pleasant, like, oh, I cringe. How's the game? It's so cringe. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal in my area, too. Smoke trail's easier to follow. These dumbass kids with fireworks every week. I know, like, I just feel bad for the animals. I am cringe, but I am free. Let's be, yeah, if we're gonna be cringe, let's be cringe together. Uh, in recognition of my fruitful research into the workings of the cranial nervous system, I've been assigned to work as an assistant to Dr. Shigeru Haibara at the Haibara Infirmary on Rogetsu Isle. Dr. Haibara is the leading researcher of Moonlight Syndrome, a condition peculiar to the Rogetsu Islands. Yeah, don't do that, Kairos. <laughs> I'm not a famous Capcom person. Can we have our own convention which is called CringeCon? Yeah, I think like embarrassing and cringe is separate things. I hope I host the next Capcom Cup. Let's go. I'm shooting for big dreams. Like, this is where I'm starting. But what's next for us is gonna be huge, bro. Uh, anyway. Moonlight Syndrome. The documents I've read describe Moonlight Syndrome as a composite mental disorder with curious symptoms such as sleepwalking and memory loss. Isn't this a real thing? Maybe it's not called Moonlight Syndrome, but it's actually a real thing, right? B3 at E3 hosting Capcom. Yo, that'd be so cool. I know, and so, yeah, it's like just a span of a year. A lot of stuff happened. <laughs> no, Sancho, but that's the point. Everyone's cringe. Despite ongoing research, both the cause of the syndrome and the reason for its confinement to the Rogetsu Islands remain unknown. Dr. Haibara is currently working to discover the truth about the condition. He has taken the unique approach to treating Moonlight Syndrome, incorporating the folklore of the islands. Treatments such as musical therapy using the traditional Rogetsu Isle moon sounds are unheard of in conventional psychiatry. I think Dr. Haibara's ideas are leading the profession in an exciting new direction. His research may not only cure Moonlight Syndrome, but also help to unlock the mysteries Surrounding the effect that memory has on the mind. It's fascinating. I have no doubt that working with Dr. Haibara will be a chance to gain valuable experience that simply can't be found on the mainland. My moon sounds are cringe. <laughs> okay, not the Suda51 game. I used to sleepwalk when I was a kid. It was weird. I woke up outside once. It was nuts. But I haven't since I was a kid. Yeah, I know sundowning. Like, I'm familiar with the term that you know of. That's true. That I know of. There's a doll. I want to take a picture of you. You go under your bed a few times? That's... Oh my god, that'd be so scary. Cause like, when you first wake up, you're probably not aware of where you are, so it's just like, oh god, I think I'd be buried alive or something. <laughs> like, it'd hit the 
the bottom of the bed, you know? I'd be like, where am I? Fall asleep outside, wake up in a bed. I don't think I've done that. It's pretty scary. Yeah, fuck that. And a few times. Wait, so how do I take photos? There we go. What happened to you? You thought you were buried alive? Yeah, fuck that. That's a nightmare. Night terrors. Forget the time your mother told you about peeing down the stairs while sleepwalking and acting you know, flushing the toilet and going back to bed. <laughs> That's actually really funny. God, this is, this is so stupid and made up. How is a flashlight taking pictures? <laughs> it's not like a cell phone, okay? I know a cell phone and cameras has a flashlight and stuff. This is liter a literal flashlight taking pictures. <laughs> Found a diary. They did surgery on me the other day. The other people who got the surgery didn't get better, so I said I didn't want to get the surgery. But the doctor told me it's okay. Since the surgery, it's all red inside my head and I don't like it. My hair fell out too. That made me cry, but when I cried, there was blood in it. Oh my god. But mama and the doctor said it's okay. My head is red and feels like it's melting. It hurts. Don't like it. I hope the pain melts away soon. Oh my This doctor's... A f you're a sham doctor! Okay, he's assistant. You're a sham assistant. Photographic memory. Yeah, he's like the guy in, in Friends. It's a click. Uh, was it Alec Baldwin? I'd like to take a mental picture. Click. I don't think the flash went off. <laughs> <laughs> making click these two. <laughs> so stupid. Why is there so many doll curses with him? There's two in a row. <laughs> she likes to laugh. One second. I like both. But yeah, it's fair. I've seen friends way more than I've seen that semi show though. But I like both. It's not the face I associate with curses being lifted. Well, that's the curse that's been removed now. Like, it's not that... Like, that was the curse and it's gone now. Now they're happy. So if we take a picture of her now, she'll just be smiling. Can we cure Annabelle and Robert with just an old camera? It has to be the camera obscura. Or in this case, the flashlight obscura. Found a small key wrapped in paper on top of the ashtray. Key is labeled Operation Prep Room. Hello! Whoa, there's so much to this map. Hi, Gravic, thanks for 15 months! Congrats, be proud, be cringe, <laughs> sewer rat. Might taste like Pumpkin Kai, but I never know because I would eat the filthy motherfucker. Oh shit. Thank you so much. Maglite Absurdia. <laughs> it's a freaking scam. You know, I'm, I'm surprised the Warrens didn't have. Oh, it's a flashlight that captures your soul. Holy shit! 
scared me, lady. Does it feel like they were built with Legos? <laughs> yeah, we would not like that. Oh god, I just- wait. Oh, it, I didn't have the photo thing equipped, but it still works. Well, that's nice. This guy's just still here. <laughs> He's like- <laughs> he wouldn't go away. Okay, we're good. Like, can I help you, sir? Uh, Asagi Hizuki, female age six, old building, ward two. He could take photos, yeah. Thanks for blinding me, mister. <laughs> yeah, where am I? Like, I blinded him twice, too. I should feel bad. Reported symptoms include fear of mirrors and memory loss, pointing to prototypical moonlight syndrome diagnosis. Okay, so fear of mirrors is part of it. Symptoms progressing at moderate rate. Wait for someone with the camera, not a flashlight. So he missed his cue. Yeah, he's just like, do, do, I, do I leave now? Oh, he blew it. It's okay, we gotta improv. The show must go on. Scheduled for surgical procedure next week under orders from Director Haibara. Procedure was previously performed on two Moonlight Syndrome patients with more severe symptoms, producing no positive result. It is hoped that performing this procedure on a patient with relatively mild symptoms will lead to development of a treatment for Moonlight Syndrome. Therefore, all involved are to take detailed notes and make appropriate reports afterwards. The above is confidential. Do not disclose the patients or others. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, previously performed on two patients. Okay, and so it's failed both times. And they're just hoping that somebody with mild symptoms is going to lead to a cure. Okay. So they're they're really just human testing. These people have no idea what they're doing. I test until you make a tyrant. <laughs> Keeps repeating. Yeah, how do you really like, how do you even gain a, like approval to study wobbly face syndrome? <laughs> I can't get the- there's a thing back there and I want it. I 
I was gonna save and then go down the thing. Thanks, Boosted. Happy Women's Day, everyone. As I'm playing a game with a stinky boy in it. <laughs> no, he's cool. Choshiro's cool. He's not like Kei Koda like in the last game. I don't even remember his real name. Kei Kona. God, he's so... He's so stinky. Would it be stupid if we played as him? So, so stinky. Used the key. I'm playing as him just because it's so stupid and cringe, you know? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's so intense with that flashlight. Physics. No, the door. I'm calling Oliver a stinky boy. Oliver is the stinkiest. I love him. <laughs> Calling somebody stinky is so funny, yeah, like, I can't- That's why I hope people aren't taking me seriously. Well, first of all, they should never take me seriously. But if I calling something stinky, it's just- it's just funny. I can't pick up this item. Probably because I'm a stinky boy. Oh my god, thank you. It's because the door was open. Be the most offended by stinky. But it's not like it's actually stinky. It's just funny. What the fuck? There's something in the locker. Stinky's read all the line. I'm 100% serious all the time, and that's what people should know me as. <laughs> people should know me for being serious. We delve into the darkness behind the mysterious Rogetsu disappearances. Six months have passed since the mass disappearance on Rogetsu Island. With the investigation stalled, the incident is on the verge of being forgotten, but we have uncovered a sinister history that could be the key to solving the mystery. <laughs> He's just laughing as though. That's what the uh, that's what I was moving. The bizarre illness, Moonlight Syndrome. We first focus our investigation on Moonlight Syndrome, a condition unique to the Rogetsu Islands. According to the medical expert we contacted, it is a type of amnesia with unusual additional symptoms such as sleepwalking and sufferers acting as though possessed by some force. The disaster of Rogetsu legend returns. Folklorists familiar with the history of the island say that the sickness Hello. makes Tajaku race up for 16 months. <laughs> Thank you, Tajaku. How you been? Oh, did I make people cry? No, stop. I'll call you stinky if you cry. There's stinky criers. <laughs> You're not stinky. You're not stinky. He's stinky. Uh, sickness has long been feared as a plague, so it reached clearly extends beyond present-day incident into the island's murky past. Legends also tells of a strange incident in which over half of the inhabitants of Rogetsu Island vanished. Half? No, you're good. You didn't ruin anything. You made it better. How's it going? Oh, nice! Thanks for posting that, Sparks. Yeah, game is officially out now. Everyone should play it. Moonlight Syndrome and Mass? What if the Rogetsu disappearances were caused by an endemic outbreak of Moonlight Syndrome? The island is surrounded by a vast ocean. One doesn't like to linger too long on the fate of those wandering outside, blissfully unaware of their surroundings. Tourism efforts cursed the island? Some islanders were opposed to turning the Rogetsu Kagura, a ceremony that was supposed to appease the souls of the dead into a tourist attraction. Bye, Shank! Enjoy the game! Could the real root of this bizarre case be the shallowness of those who tried to turn a sacred ceremony into a commercial spectacle? This kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy X-2. When they made Unaleska's bullshit a ter uh, tourism attraction. 
death of the last witness. Our only remaining lead was the last living witness to the incident, a young girl. Sadly, she died in the hospital several days ago. Reports say she used her final breath to cry out for her mother. What did this poor girl see on that fateful day? The answer is known only to the now-abandoned Rogetsu Isle. Doctor is performing operation. Patient who fell long back. Wait, who was that guy? Oh god, that's them blossomed. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Hold on. Ayako, a patient who Director Haibara treats differently from the others. She loves to break her toys more than anything else in the world. Okay, so Director Haibara clearly uh, gave her special treatment. I wonder... I wonder if it's like an Evelyn situation, though. What this pro poor girl sees some shit. Only Blossom and them with the feather boa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'd be like the weapon. Okay, let's see. Just smacking people around with a boa. You know, speaking of boa, it's one of the weapons in the Samurai Warriors game. And I hate her as much as Evelyn. Good. I hope I do. I'm not gonna feel any sympathy. The hell is this item? Yeah, too much stinky boy, not enough cute girls. I gotta get out of here. No, but I wanna read the lore! I just- I can't find the item! It's like over here. Okay, it doesn't exist. Fuck it. Boy's too stinky. Can't even find an item on the floor. No, I can't even open this! Oh, wait, is it up top? Hi, Kaifu. <laughs> Stinkiness is making him blind. That's how Moonlight Syndrome starts. No, we're locked in here! Oh, gross! We're locked in here with the stinky boy! We need to find the thing! Seriously, where is it? Where's this item? Metroid Fusion dropped on NSO. Ooh, a day early? Very excited for RE4. So excited. Oh, it's a doll! Oh, you little bitch! 
how to find the smell. I found the smell, but it was a stinky doll. Wait, but that doesn't explain why the room's locked. And it's also a different blue item. Yeah, because there's like one here. Do I just examine it? Something to examine. Oh! I see. We're gonna tear the sheet off for some reason. Why would you do that? It's just hair. <laughs> Oh my camera. Be gone, child. I have too much match. I definitely going to play fusion probably off stream. Something is lying where the ghost is here. Diary pictures. I told the doctor I don't like it. It hurts. Tomorrow, more surgery. It's making me bad. The surgery. More surgery. Tomorrow, more surgery. I don't like surgery. It hurts. Hurts, hurts the surgery. It hurts me. Ow, ow, ow. Hurts, hurts. Hurts me. Die. <laughs> She's saying, oh, whoa. But why would they write this? How do you like Wolong, Long, said Jaku? So he reacts to finding hair under his sheet matter when he's cleaning the shower drain. Death with luscious hair like that. Oh man, you're telling me. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Does this ghost have a name? Girl who's hospitalized in the old building, she was lonely because no one visited her. Her long black hair fell out as a side effect of her treatment. Oh, oh yeah, that's Asagi. We read her uh, journal. So she's... Okay, she, her hair... Yeah. Yeah, pick up the hair, weirdo. Creepy thin man's eyes. Postmortem. No, she was six! Circumstance of death. Condition deteriorated severely after a second surgical procedure. Patient was tranquilized but suddenly became deranged during the night. Doctor provided immediate emergency treatment to no effect. Patient died soon after. Cause of death unknown. Possible death due to weakness brought on by sudden worsening of moonlight syndrome symptoms. It's probably the- Thanks for opening the door. No, it was probably the fact that the surgery was hurting her. Poor girl. It's gonna take five years to get zero mission on NSO. Hopefully. It seems like- Nintendo's probably just trying to pump out all the Metroid now. Who would have thought Metroid's popular? Is that a... Standing in the window holding a human head? <laughs> the treatment, yeah. Not... <laughs> yeah, sudden worsening of symptoms totally has nothing to do with the experimental surgery. That's, that's just some saving phase. Freaking bitches. Just in front of desk. What could have happened to her? Nah, you see, it was moonlight syndrome. It just got worse. We were trying to help it. These saw traps. God, they just fucking I hate these doctors in this game. Ah! <laughs> and there's no one that thought to like look into what these people were doing. I guess they are on an island. No, no one gives a shit enough to like come here. They're like I don't know some doctors are doing weird shit in this remote uh, island but so, like, getting to the island is annoying so we're just gonna pretend we don't know what's going on because we don't. <laughs> yeah removing their brain relates to poor diet. It's like the cops following missing person cases here. here. Mm -hmm. It's like they wouldn't have cared otherwise. Our boy Akiyama. What's his name? Chohiro? Choshiro. That was close. Our boy Choshiro to do his job.
Sakiyama no. Is that another diary? The same girl. What is the Rogetsu Kagura? Oh, it's a flyer. Once every 10 years in the month of September, a very important ceremony takes place on Rogetsu Island. Main island of Rogetsu Islands. This is Rogetsu Kagura. Looks like snakes mullet. <laughs> Sakiyama, damn it. The Rogetsu Kagura is a representation of a means of direct communication between the living and the dead. Its origins are uncertain, but the people of Rogetsu Isle have carried it down through the ages as a way to honor the deceased. A maiden called the Vessel dances herself into a trance to the accompaniment of music played by five girls called organs. The dance continues well into the night. Not only the Vessel and the organs wear masks during the Kagura. All those present and observers wear masks and hold candles while watching the ceremony. <clears throat> At the island's most important festival, the Kagura calls... That was born on Rogetsu Isle home every 10 years. They are said to make the journey no matter how far away they live. Once accessible only to such natives, the Kagura was open to visitors 30 years ago and is now the central tourist attraction on the island. Oh my god, he speaks. Oh, he's so stinky. Yeah, like it's still doing ritual type stuff, yeah, but just instead of priests, it's just doctors. It's like, no, we're different because we're using science. Like, okay. You Scam artists. I've been observing cases of Moonlight Syndrome at Hybara Infirmary. The moment I first laid eyes on one of the patients, a ghastly thrill traveled up and down my spine. This syndrome is unlike anything I've ever seen before, and in, in this line of work, I've seen more than my fair share of unusual and disturbing things. Okay, so this is Hybara's assistant, so he's seeing things firsthand, but he's hopefully not delusional, so maybe he's gonna give us the real scoops. Noezi. Moonlight Syndrome pres presents symptoms and, oh my god, symptoms of memory fragmentation along with deterioration of sense of self, resulting in destruction of the sufferer's personality. In advanced stages, it leads to total amnesia and unresponsiveness and is ultimately fatal. And that's what killed the girl, of course. But apparently most patients choose to end their own lives before the symptoms can progress to those final awful stages. Okay, see, I don't know if I believe that. They don't choose to end their own lives. Well, they probably don't even remember where they are. Or who they are. So they're probably not aware that they're going through something called Moonlight Syndrome. Like, they might just think this is how, like, life is. I'm not buying it. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's a cover-up. Watching as these poor bastards have their memories taken away from them as they break down and are consumed little by little, it's so horrible one trembles at the sight. I wouldn't wish Moonlight Syndrome on my worst enemy. No one should have to feel themselves slip away into the darkness. Okay, that's pretty scary. <laughs> Seeing it for myself, I have a renewed sense of urgency regarding my work here. Dr. Hybar is treating Moonlight Syndrome as a special kind of local endemic disease, but he hasn't yet been able to grasp the nature of the condition or develop a reliable method of treatment or cure. Okay, never mind. He's so he's kind of Hybara's boyfriend. I don't know. I think that's like what Moonlight Syndrome is trying to suggest, Pigeon. His focus is on medication combined with surgical procedures and folk medicine as a means to combat this condition. I'll learn more details about the different kinds of treatment tomorrow. I just hope one of them can be developed into a cure and we can finally wake these people from their nightmare. <laughs> Small iron here. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not buying this. He's he's believing him. Oh, this is like the main lobby. Can I go this way? What's that way? Hello. Hi Lee Argento! Thanks for 31 months in the tier two. How's it going? Can't leave if I wanted.
<laughs> he opens that door with his whole body. It's like, Moonlight Syndrome not gonna get me. Gotta stay active. I'm good, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm just taking photos. Oh, he's got- oh! He's doing his little doctor light! Oh god. I'm blinded. What is this? He's like pointing a stupid little laser pointer at us. Blind me in my chat. Got him. You see him trying to teleport away? Wasn't gonna stop him. My spirit flashlight versus his laser pointer. I am associated with Hybara Infirmary, and I want to make the truth known about the recent disappearances of those girls. <gasps> As I was walking the infirmary grounds, Hello. Dice Train resub for 43 months. Best chair on every platform. Everyone knows. No stop. <laughs> Thank you, Dice Train. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, as walking infirmary grounds, I heard the sounds of children's voices coming from the well. At first I thought I was hearing things, but the voices became more and more distinct. <laughs> Pigeon. <laughs> Running in a tiny little room with their little flashlights. They weren't just crying as normal children do when they fall or lose sight of their parents in a crowded place. It was an altogether more hollow, terrible sound. It's them, the girls who vanished, I'm sure of it. I can't keep quiet about this anymore. If you don't act now, it will be too late. Those girls are being consumed, even as I write this. I beg you, conduct a search of High Bar Infirmary as soon as possible. Nice! Nice! So that's what led the, us to come here? I guess. Start pretending their flashlights were lightsabers. <laughs> They're making their own sound effects. Pew! Just a couple of boys being boys. Get smacked. Oh fuck, I gotta get out of here. Do I have a health bar? I do. Oh, there's too many! Okay, that range for that little girl is nuts. <laughs> oh, it's uh. Hi, Bara. Again on the elevator. This game's great, you should play it. Find another way down there. Hello, please. Yeah, he's not very good outfits. He's got like hats. So who are we talking to? Oh shit!
Oh, nice. Cooper. I know it's. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't think you were hanging out when we were playing uh, the Fatal Frame. Is he trying to rescue Highbar? I think he's just trying to ask him stuff. So what'd you do to those kids, huh? We're still not dead. Yeah, you're it was for a good cause. <laughs> Chat, I'm getting hungry. What should I eat? I have... I have ramen I can make. But that's boring. Wait, was that the girl I just killed? She's still talking? Yeah, because I can go that way. Well, he's like down the elevator, but we still can't go there. I have my stash of hot mustard. Which means I could just order more chicken nuggets. Cheesesteak? Nah. I could get that chimichanga that we got from that Korean place like last time. Guys, I had a Korean chimichanga the other day. Oh, so good. And it's open till like 3 a.m. or something. Empanadas. I went the wrong way. What am I doing? I'm like, wait a minute. I know this hallway. I just came from here. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm not a famous Capcom person. I tried several empanada places. Wait, which one are you referring to? Because there's like... There's like the... I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't reveal it, but Capcom made a tweet. No, but I'm going to be in the Capcom pre-show with, uh, with Susie. I think that's the tweet. Yeah, so we got to do a pre-show. That's tomorrow. It's not, it's nothing major, you know, it's just a pre-show. <laughs> Clearly anti-Capcom. I know, I'm freaking ordering the Korean food would have been faster. Okay, no, we got it, we got it. Let's look. DoorDash is... Oh, I'm doing a food sponsor soon. So I'm not gonna be able to, to mention DoorDash soon. You'll know. Food sponsors are fun. He does a dollar. They bring famous, make the app work. <laughs> I know. No, listen, that's gonna, that's how it's gonna get to my head. I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna like actually let the fame get to me or anything, but I'm gonna act like it. I'll act like a diva. Like, that's what it is. It's a DoorDash app. You're supposed to order. It's supposed to let you order. That's what it does. Why won't it let you order? <laughs> okay, cool. My McDonald's will be here in according. 13 minutes, according to the app. What a quarter pounder now? Do it! I just got chicken nuggets. Alright. Taking diva lessons from Oliver. <laughs> Kitty. I learned I learned from Kitty. I got hot mustard, and just in case they don't give me hot mustard, I have plenty of backup. Guys, they're working. Carol! Carol Capcom! <clears throat> okay, food's on its way. Alright, let's read this note that we've been staring at for a while. Oh, the buffalo sauce? Too late. <laughs> I went right in for the hot mustard. I got ten piece. Two ten pieces, because they don't- because they don't actually do 20 piece meal. 
In mild cases of Moonlight Syndrome, patients start to lose fragments of their memories and tend to sleepwalk. Neither of these symptoms is especially uncommon and may even occur together, but it is the effect of the phase of the moon on Moonlight Syndrome patients that make it very different from such other conditions. Patients stabilize when the moon waxes and is full, but tend to seek out the moonlight and wander at night. When the moon wanes, they become frightened and unstable. So does that mean it's always waxing because they're always angry? None of them are afraid. Exactly, Pigeon. Never, ten is never enough. Ever. Why don't they do a 20-piece meal? Like, they only do 10. Come on. Hot mustard is the best. Very classic buffalo flavored. I do like buffalo. I just feel like I can get buffalo anywhere. Hot mustard. McDonald's hot mustard is very, very, very particular. Hence the condition we now call Moonlight Syndrome was originally known as Moonlust or Night Walking. Name still used in superstitious context. Buffalo. <laughs> In severe cases, patients lose almost all of their memories and are attracted to windows and rooftops, given the appearance of being led by the moonlight. Oh, is that why that guy was outside? They bathe happily in it, as if having their lost selves return to them, albeit for a fleeting, unsustained moment. Hola. Patients who lose their memories will start looking toward the moon without fail. Symptoms like this may occur in individual psychiatric cases, but it's difficult to satisfactorily explain their simultaneous emergence in multiple patients. The condition is unique to the Rogetsu Islands, so it may have some connection with the climate or beliefs of these islands. Yeah, it's the weather. The weather is causing this. A lot of places do hot wings now, but they don't use buffalo sauce. They always have like some weird name, but it's usually buffalo sauce. I wonder if it's like a licensing. They'll have like wacky, wacky sauce. <laughs> Did I scan her? It's been like 30 minutes because we've been talking about food. Well, check out some wacky sauce, but just buffalo. But they always do that. Okay, well, let's see. It's, we don't always want two fries and two drinks. <laughs> Local 58 prequel, isn't it? I don't know what that is. Oh, is this the front desk part? Wait, yeah. Yes, I've been trying to figure out how to come here. Ah! Nurse placing wooden card. Ooh, sacred water. Decorate with a waning moon. So it's probably another one, right? There have been some weather outside, people lost their memory and their faces feel like they're melting. Yeah, the freaking the humidity makes me feel that way. Honestly, humidity makes me feel like my face is melting and that my memory is losing. They're blaming the weather now, yeah. They're like, oh, perhaps the climate is what caused this. Dude, why is he like so weird about that door? Like he wants to open it, but be very far away from it. Fuck humidity so much, I know, right? Too humid to think straight. That's how I am a lot. Hide what, huh? Assistant hiding something. Oh, is the assistant? I keep thinking that's the doctor. What's the assistant hiding? What are you hiding, bro? The, the truth? Is that like a paging system? Oh, that's just their phone. Yeah, this has a lot of creepy faces in it. I want to know what he's hiding, though. I'm 
engraved box being held by held closed by some sort of mechanism. Oh, those are the things I need. Okay. How many dolls does this guy have? Hiding his early copy of RE4. Oh, that lucky dust. Were they hiding the box? Hybara's assistance notes. The days pass and our efforts to treat Moonlight Syndrome continue. Dr. Hybara's treatment methods have shown some positive results, but they're starting to lose what basis they had in medical science and are increasingly muddled with superstition and folklore. He's putting more and more emphasis on his own ideas and the legends of the island. Frankly, I doubt the efficacy of such methods have never seen such treatments applied to a neurological condition. In particular, the macabre apparatuses he uses are unlike anything I've ever seen used at any other hospital. What I find more disturbing, though, is the bizarre terminology used in this hospital. I did point that out. Like, they're making up their own thing. He has the only uncanceled CE. Hey, look, I still have, might have mine. Because I pre-ordered mine in-store, but I checked and I also have one pre-ordered for delivery, so if they don't cancel that... Like, I must have pre-ordered... I must have pre-ordered two copies two different ways just to make sure I got one, and I'm so glad I did now. Anyway. Terminology. Oh, yeah. Munchausen syndrome. Uh, these are not standard medical terms. For instance, intermediate stage moonlight syndrome patients present symptoms where they fear their own reflection, mirrors, or water. In the folklore of Rogetsu Isle, this phenomenon is referred to as budding. The patients may be seeing their own faces reflected as something entirely different. Whatever the nature of the symptom, I wish they would call it a hallucination or a phobia, rather than use a proper medical term. The superstitious budding word is used by the infirmary staff on a daily basis. Yeah, th right, stuff like that. It's fucked up. Well, Pass B was a smart one. That's what I always say. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's. I'm really glad I did that. You mean so in demand? Were you able to pre-order one? But anyway, so yeah, they're call they should be calling it a hallucination or something. Apparently patients who, patients who see a budded face visible only to themselves also bud. This is stupid. It's fucked up common statement. Then there's blossoming. I don't know the specifics of this symptom, but I have seen the color drain from people's faces at the mere mention of the word. From the sound of it, I doubt it has anything to do with botany. Okay, wait, but we've seen photos of them blossoming and their faces all contorted, but only they see that in mirrors? Because we saw it in the camera, so what's that about? They say that those who see the faces of people with severe cases of Moonlight Syndrome resonate with them and become afflicted with the syndrome themselves. Is this budding? Oh. So when they bud, we, we blossom? <laughs> Whatever name for it, how is it even possible for the neurological condition to be transmitted? Before coming here, I wouldn't have entertained such a possibility, but Moonlight Syndrome may somehow be contagious. On top of all this, I've been asked, so people who bud also spread the bud? Or is it when they start blossoming is when they, other people start budding? Is like, is the blossoming? Yeah, blossoming is the contagious phase. But see, they don't even know the specifics. They're not even like, de like, going into it they're just saying bud but so patients who see a budded phase visible only themselves also bud but i thought they only see that in the mirror like if like i would only see my face bud in the mirror or whatever so would you also have to be looking in a mirror in order to get it from me and then there's blossoming but we know that with the camera i don't know i think i'm reading way too into this <laughs> anyway uh, contagious. On top of all this, I've been asked to make preparations for a rite to be held tomorrow. What kind of procedure it is, I don't know. How did it come to this? The whole affair has left me sick at the heart. Oh, 
Oh, Munchausen, Munchausen's by yourself and by proxies when there's someone else. Oh, I never knew the difference. I thought it was all the same. The light for the director's office is lit. Is someone just... Ah! He was so close. His little flashlight. His little laser pointer. Honestly, I think the flashlight's pretty good. Subtitles are whack. What, the ones I'm saying? Yeah. It's like gibberish half the time. Happy Women's Day. Like parents claim their child had this just make themselves more interesting or something. Yeah, that's so messed up. I can't believe people do that. People are so sick. I saw the documentary of that happening to a girl and then she killed her mom. Allegedly. Autumn, thank you. The gift up to Baronski. Thank you, thank you. She's gonna be a stream celebrity Wednesday. I know, it's great. Hello. And Carla Run, thank you for 10 months. Madoka Blossom and Ruka saw she saw the butt in the mirror herself. Right, yeah, so I think the blossoming phase is when it's contagious, but you only see it in the mirror. Assistant behind fence. <laughs> to hide that. I don't. Can you hide how many gifted subs you've done? I think so. If you want, but you know, I think it's cool. Okay, we need to find another way through. It's probably under like privacy settings or something, right? My food's been picked up. It's kind of long. Get at me as the RE4 collection. That one, that assistant. I'm gonna tackle him for that. Okay, I need that Leon statue. You don't understand. Hey, is it you? Director Hybara passing by. What are you trying to hide here, huh? Where's the where's the collector's edition? Where's Leon? Is that Leon? I will uncurse Leon. Leon's curse has been lifted. I know, they lied about the 12 minutes. Maybe they're just gonna get a driver. It's okay. It's still a lot less than an hour or however long the other place told me. Whoa, I strangely feel really uh, familiar with this room. I come from esteemed lineage of head ceremonial priests bearing the honored name of Hybara. Oh, they still do come from priests, but he's still a doctor, but he's still connected to the priests. Okay, see, I told you, you can't keep the priests too far away from uh, 
Fatal frame. Holding the flashlight like Cookman Leon on my looping purgatory. I am also the medicine man of this island, and as such have come face to face with this condition known in the modern vernacular as Moonlight Syndrome. In establishing an institution to research and treat Moonlight Syndrome, I have exploited the benefits of medical science while still upholding the teachings of my ancestors. I believe it is my main mission to research this baffling syndrome using a fusion of modern science and ancient tradition. Once the people of Rogetsu Isle use their own means, befitting of their time to delve into the nature of mind and soul. The masks of the Kagura were once such means. By wearing the mask and hearing the music, the vessel loses herself. The organ's masks allowed them to keep their beats steady. You can take the fatal frame out of the priest. You can't take the priest out of fatal frame. That's... I have heard that. That's on the back of the box, actually. The wearing of masks stimulates various different parts of the human brain. This is a fascinating phenomenon that science alone cannot explain. Masks truly are a powerful method to explore the potential of the brain. They open a door for us to explore new territories. And so came to be the ancient... No, the true form of the Rogetsu Kagura, the rite of descent. Okay, so there's the Rite of Tranquility. Which was something about the name of a disaster, right? Um, this Rite provides us with a means to dive into the abyss of the mind. However, the Rite of Descent has been forbidden ever since it brought disaster to Rogetsu Isle. The legends that tell of this disaster are terrifying, but in order to conquer Moonlight Syndrome, we must be brave enough to step over taboo boundaries. The moon eclipses but once every 10 years. We cannot let this chance escape us. Time is a commodity we sadly lack. There's an intercom displaying a series of numbers on the desk. What's the... What's the series of numbers? Do I need to write that down? Hold on, I'm gonna write down just in case. Four, three, eight, nine, five, one. It has to be like a puzzle, right? Yeah, I remember this is a fake door. I remember that. And the numbers move the door or something. I just don't know if there's anything else to do right now. Wait, can I... I still know where I have to type that. Do we have to? <laughs> it's quite spooky. Hi, Massa. Alright, we have to open the door. We do have to. For once, we have to. Yeah, I'm taking pics of the projectors for once. This is such a pretty shot. This reminds me of the cover of RE1 Remake. Because the blue light or something. Okay, does it have anything to do with this room? Do I have to? Yeah, now that's stuck in my head again. <laughs> What's that? What the do we- Do I have to? That's from Octopath Traveler 2. It's like this... I mean, I guess he's not even an NPC, because he's, he's just a temporary party member who really doesn't want to fight. And he just... Yeah, there's the clip. <laughs> it's so... Please watch it. It's so funny, the way he says it. He's like, do I have to? Okay. 
He got kidnapped by Agnea. Against his will. Whoa, I thought my shadow was a ghost. I was like, whoa, what's his movement? <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You can stop right there. How the fuck do I get out of here? You can go through there. Saying she must have kidnapped then you were saying now. Yeah, but and then and then turns out she was. She's torturing the whole town. She's she's pulling a pearl from the movie Pearl. I'm so lost. I don't know how to get back to the main lobby. And then he immediately said that, and like she is kidnapping them. Do I have to? Okay, go to the right. Okay, I found my way. So I'm trying to find my way, I just, I'm lost. My food's here, I gotta go pick it up. But I wanna go to the lobby first. Oh yeah, we saw this weird shadow and then I just went back in because I got nervous. There it is. Do I have to? Oh, maybe we have to do it through here. Cause it's like, it's clearly meant to unlock the door, right? <laughs> I'll be right back. Good boy. <laughs> Oliver, can you speak? <coughs> speak! <coughs> That was new. Speak. Speak. This is growling. Speak. That wasn't a speak. What was that? Speak. Speak. There you go. Good boy. Why are you sound like a pigeon? These little arms wiggling. He kept smacking the <laughs> the mic. <laughs> Rx, thanks for the gift of the pup time. It's raining fries. Alright, Oliver, let's go again. Speak! <coughs> what was that? He's like, <laughs> Speak! <coughs> Goodbye! Now, that was a speak. Good speak. Yeah, he likes to rev up by sneezing, and then he freaking growled for some reason. Mm. Good boy! He's so talented with his, his words. Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, how do you feel about playing as a sneaky boy in Fatal Frame? Yeah? <laughs> Oh, yeah, me too, honestly. I don't like it either. <laughs> Who would you rather play as in Fatal Frame? You wanna play as Ru Ruka? She's your favorite? Oh, good taste. What about Toshiro? Do you not like him? All right, good boy. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Good boy likes Ruka! Mm. Alright, you got your fries. You got what you came here for. He's like, no, wait, there, I saw more in the box! <laughs> He's going like a pigeon. <laughs> My dog is secretly a pigeon. I don't know, it's a horror game. They're like, oh, I'll throw some ghost faces in there. <clears throat> Okay, do we do we know where to type this in? Because I legit cannot remember. Plan to audition for the role of a pigeon. <laughs> Oliver, you'd make the best pigeon. Let's find the director's office to type it in. Was is that where it is? Wait, in the director's office? <clears throat> Wait, that's where we find the code. That's where we type it into?
Yeah, Ghost is sliding and like seeing us eating some fries. He wants in on some of that too. It's like, hold on, you're giving that pigeon fries, but not me. Who's my little pigeon? I mean, that's where the door is. There's nowhere to type it. <clears throat> this cloud mark, remember? Somebody go in the cloud marks chat and ask them <laughs> where to type in the door. Can you, uh, can you ask him? Okay, this might be... Here, verbatim. When you play as the guy, where do you type in the code to open the secret door? He'll know what it means. Maybe. Hopefully he remembers. There's only one guy you play as. Cloudmark, where do you type in the code to open this door? You remember it's a hidden door. We summon Cloudmark. Number pad on the desk. Well, I know that, but where do we type it in? It's a phone. Oh, it's a phone. Wait, how do we use it though? Wait, that? Oh, wait, no, you mean in the other room. Because there's the other common in the other room, right? Because I can't interact with this. Might need a document with the code. Oh, so I probably just didn't trigger the door. Because I saw that. Or trigger the code. Oh my god, do you know where it is? I feel like I picked up everything. That does help though, thank you. Guys, go follow Cloudmark. He's also playing this game. Good luck to you, too. I'm looking for it to be blue anywhere. Check downstairs where the gate was. It's so annoying. It's like, I know what to do. I, it's just finding the thing. On the right side. Oh, it did get... Oh, but we found the thing for the box. Oh! That's what's written down, though! Why can't we just type it in? Why do we need the memo with the code? This guy is so fucking paranoid. 
Okay, twice, twice seven days makes the new moon full. Plus one is the key to the square. Oh wait, is this Sudoku? Another trigger hunt. Okay. But it's like, what? They're not letting us type on type in the numbers we might think it is. They just won't let us type into it at all. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, is this actually Sudoku? Because the top row equals 15. The second row equals 16. Or, oh, also 15. Oh, so it has, okay, 15. What about up, down? So that's equal 15. So wait, twice seven days makes the new moon full, plus one is the key to the square as well. Wait, so seven, seven, one, because that would equal 15. Okay, so it's one seven seven. All right, let's give it a shot. Twice seven days, Oliver. Seven seven one, Oliver. They wouldn't let us type it on without looking at the book, Oliver. <laughs> okay, cool. It's because we're playing a stupid, stinky go boy. Well, that's not seven. Because then that would be 16. So it's not seven, seven. I just know the first one. I mean, if it's also 15. Okay, so one here, uh, eight. Well, one, one, eight. I mean, it's not actual Sudoku, but you know what I mean. So one, eight, six? Or seven, or one, seven. One, seven, six. Okay, well, top down is not 15 then, right? Wait, what am I doing? There's already a one. Hold on. I was completely not looking at the first row. I was too busy looking at the other ones. Because that's not... So then it'd be 276. Oh, the whole thing is Sudoku where it's like you have to use each number once. Oh, it's 276. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the first row because it said one in the thing, so I'm like, the first one has to be one. Got it. Easy. So, kind of was Sudoku. It's just one row was the whole puzzle. <laughs> me some Sudoku. <gasps> ah! <laughs> His flail. <laughs> so this does have that. What a silly mechanic. Get 
Get off me, just super flails. Of all the methods of treating Moonlight Syndrome that we have tried to date, the most promising appears to be surgery. Specifically, this treatment involves stimulation of the brain by direct or indirect means. Progress is very slow and difficult at first, with much experimentation, but results started to appear and now it seems the date cannot be far when we find a comprehensive treatment method. However, there was recently a case in which surgery seemed successful at first, but unfortunately ended in tragedy. The patient initially appeared to recover from moonlight syndrome, but rapidly deteriorated with total amnesia and voidness followed by death. The corpse's face appeared warped and was, of course, harvested immediately. Was this warping the beginning of blossoming? So blasphemy happens outside of, like, regardless of mirrors. That's crazy. I know, I didn't like the ghost mechanic in uh, 5 either. Doesn't seem as insane as in this one. It was common. Hi, Overwatch. Okay, research into treatment through surgical procedures continues, but blossoming may be prevented at all costs. Must be prevented. We must not bring about another disaster like the one spoke of in our legends. We cannot have another day of tranquility on this island. Maybe day of tranquility is called that because all the humans died and it was finally quiet for once. It's gotta be what it was. Okay, we're going more down. Jesus. Can't see it be anything else. Just what a depressing name for it. Wait, no, hold on. There's definitely an item there. No, I haven't played. Uh, the Wii Grudge game. I want to though. That'd be so fun to stream. Oh, this is where he found them? Wait, so he found them from the lift? And since then the lift doesn't work? Well, I guess what's his name runs away. Asian Keanu Reeves. Does kind of look like him. Ooh! Oh, they're <laughs> blossoming! Did they even send him alone? Ruka? Wait, so Ruka's... Like, actually Ruka? So she's alive. And, like, not insane. 
I thought she was in a coma. Uh, 